I am sufficiently in the cowboy mood. <laughs> Hold on. Hold that thought, gamers. I've just been told that I have a typo in my stream title. Amasia! Amasia, thank you for the 16 whole years. I've just been informed that I have a typo in my stream title, so instead of fixing it, I'm going to double down and add more typos. There we go. Now that's a title I can be proud of. Okay, let's see what happens. Let me see, hold on. Danimal, thank you for the follow. Brad, thank you for the 17 whole years. Cyan K, thank you for the 6 whole years. Zinnery, thank you for the 23 whole years. Crimson Demon, Zetsubera, thank you for the 28 years each. Steel Jocket, thank you for the 28 whole years. Space Opera Copper, thank you for the 70 bits. Dot Level, thank you for the 15 whole years. Sega Zoom, thank you. It's alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to add typos, I think, as we progress throughout the evening. Lunar Button, thank you for the 34 whole years. Jesus Christ, that's a tier 3. Thank you for the tier 3 for 102 whole years. Amasia, thank you. I think that's everybody. I think we're good. Maybe? Is that my boy TJ Dix in the chat room? TJ Dix number one, baby. Yes! You'd love to see it. Anyway. Hey, yo. Hold that thought. Howdy, partners. Happy, it's not Monday today. Happy Tuesday, actually. We, did, we weren't able to stream yesterday. We had some shit to do. Two cowboys are lost in the desert when one sees a tree draped in bacon. He yells it's a bacon tree then runs to it and is shot up with bullets. It wasn't a bacon tree, it was a ham bush. Somebody shoot that guy. Mike, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> We're going to play some cowboy shit today. I'm in the mood to play some cowboy shit. <laughs> Captain Old Type, thank you for the four whole years. Alright, let me fix the stream title. Let me actually fix it. Hold on. I got you. <laughs> Typo meme is over. Let's actually fix it. I got you. I can, I can do that. Eh, eh. There we go. Anyway, we're going to play some old ass shit today. We're going to play some... We're going to play some really old cowboy games. Raycat, thank you for the tier two for 40 whole years. And then we're going to play some that aren't quite as old. Sir Retro, thank you for the 12 whole years. What is happening? Calm down. You're not authorized. Thank you so much, everybody. Hold on, I gotta shoot somebody for making a horrible joke. There we go. So we're going to play, uh, I guess, the oldest ones first. I guess we'll go in chronological order. The first one's not even so much a game uh, that we can play as much as something we can talk about for a bit. <laughs> The first thing we're going to look at is Gunfight from 1975. Not Carlos. Thank you for the 90 whole years. We're going to look at Midway's Gunfight, also known as uh, Western Gun outside of the United States. This is a Taito game, but this version of it specifically is by Midway because this version uses a microprocessor and thus can actually be run in MAME. Whereas the uh, Taito version, the Taito original, runs on discrete logic, and I don't think MAME can run discrete logic at all. <laughs> We'd have to use, like, the dice emulator for that, and I don't even think it's compatible with that. So I don't know if the Taito version's playable at all. I expect to see some grambling out in these <laughs> yee streets. Some grambling, yes. Cynical Razor! Thank you for the 28 whole years. Raycat, thank you for the 100 whole bits. This game uh, was borrowed. The concept for this video game was borrowed by Sega's... Uh, similarly titled Gunfight from 1969. It wouldn't be the only time that, a, uh, that an idea of Sega's was borrowed for something else much later. Let me see here. Hold on. Where did I put it? I have to find an image. Hold on, give me one second. Eh. Hold on, I'm googling. I'm googling shit. Let me just pull this up. Let me pull up ye old Google. Here I go. Eh. 
There we go. That's what we're looking for. Where's my browser? Yeah, 1975. This game was created before the dawn of time. Now, where's my browser capture? Browser capture. Eh, and then eh. This wouldn't be the only time that something was borrowed from Sega. In 1969, Sega also had Duck Hunt, which people probably more popularly associate with somebody else. So Sega was ahead of their time. That's pretty good. <laughs> so we're going to play Gunfight, which was also inspired by something from Sega in the fucking late 60s. We can't even actually really play this game so much as look at it, but that's okay. Let me put the flyer away. 70 bits, oh Pyro boy. boy, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. Anybody could hunt a duck, you're not wrong. Gunfight. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Yes. Get ready. Joel, thank you for the follow. I might have said that wrong. I'm so sorry. So we actually have an overlay. There's actually an overlay for this one. For gunfight. We've got John Cowboy here. Shooting a gun. This is what video games were in the 1970s. Sega was apparently founded in Hawaii. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, John Cowboy, the original. It's also worth mentioning that this game was very briefly, and I mean extremely briefly, in, uh, what was it, Dawn of the Dead? In this little arcade scene? This little... This little moment right here. We'll see if those two seconds of footage get us in trouble. Whole, fl whole VOD's gonna get... <laughs> the entire VOD's gonna get killed because I showed two seconds of Dawn of the Dead. That's alright. If I put in a quarter... Where's that one emote? Which one? Which one are we talking about? As you can see, we've got two characters operating both by me. Because this video game has no... This game has no AI. This game is so prehistoric that there's no AI in it. At all. You just can't. You just... You cannot play against a computer. This game is two players only. And it would not be the only game this old to be like that. Eagle the Expat! Thank you for the six whole years. So you'd put a quarter in. And you'd have two... You'd have two cowboys shooting the shit out of each other. Yeah, like the Tron game, exactly. There was a bunch of games like this. Howdy everybody, Rikita Cruncher here. Now let me tell you, life isn't all saloons and outlaws. <laughs> I should know this isn't my first rodeo. Yes. Do yourselves a favor and rustle up some love for you partners. Always be rootin', always be tootin', but most of all, be kind. Always Until be kind. Until next time into the sunset I go. Ah, oh, thank you, Dubstep Paladin. Thanks, partner. So basically, you just try to shoot the shit out of each other. You get six bullets each in your six shooters. We have an incredibly low volume as well. Let me turn this shit up. Okay. Crank that. Crank those bullet sounds. Those incredibly quiet bullet sounds. And then that's all you get for your quarter, is you get, like, a first to four, first to five. That's about it. <laughs> Ali Kitsude, thank you for the 20 whole years! Yeah, somebody, well, I mean, if this came up in, like, a mystery tournament, it'd be kind of sick, actually, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, if this came up... There we go, now we've got rootin' tootin' gun sounds. Yes, yeah, so you got a game time counter. You can buy about 75 seconds of game time with your quarter, and then two of you cowpokes would have to grab the controls and start trying to shoot each other, and that's just what it is. That's just what it is. That's just what this game is. It's worth mentioning that this animation, this character animation, is better in the Midway version than in the Taito original version. The first job I ever had was ironing cowboy clothes. Was it? How depressing. Oh my goodness. Somebody shoot that guy. Even uh, Nish uh, Tomohiro Nishikado who designed this game, also the designer of Space Invaders, it's worth mentioning. Even he kind of preferred the graphics and the animation of the this one. But he felt that Taito's original version of the game was more fun. <laughs> I don't think that one's emulatable at all, though. Is this the first game in which Aaron Black appears? No, but this is the first game that depicts human violence. <laughs> at least I'm pretty sure. 
This is the first game that depicts humans shooting each other. This is the first game that depicts humans dying in some sort of a realistic fashion. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Murder Simulator 1. <laughs> yeah, the first deathmatch game. Midway and Taito had a bit of a partnership back in the day as well because they were licensing each other's shit so that they could release their games in their respective regions. So you had Midway licensing a bunch of Taito games so that they can release them in uh, North America and you could release, or you could license, Midway was licensing, or Taito was licensing Midway games for Japan and they were just licensing shit back and forth. TJ Dix, thank you for the 500 bits! Thank you so much, TJ Dix. I hope you're doing well. But yeah, that's the gist of gunfight. If we move on two years into the future from gunfight, we can take a look at what is essentially the same thing, but with minor advancements. Yeah, it was very quick. I mean, there's not much to say about gunfight. Boot Hill, on the other hand, we can actually play against an AI. This is essentially the same video game. Still by Taito, uh, still by Taito in Japan. Still by Midway in North America. And Europe, I believe. Exciting Western shootout. One or two player game. Hold on, let me zoom in on these bullet points. <laughs> I gotta zoom, let me zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in more. As a one-player game, a player is challenged by the computer. Is that a twin-stick shooter? Yeah, you have a stick for movement, and then you have the, uh... You have, like, a lever that goes up and down so that you can determine where you're aiming. See, so we have a bullet point on the arcade flyer that there's AI opponents, because apparently this was an advancement at the time. Whereas Gunfight was called Western Gun in Japan, this was called Western Gun Part 2! Came out two years later. You can see the, uh, you can see the, like, backlit <laughs> background inside the cabinet that the game does not actually have. Coordinated music? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Adjustable timer doesn't have one second rounds, I hope so. We could galaxy fight that shit. <laughs> I anyway, hide that flyer. So this is essentially the same game. But we can actually shoot the other guy. Yes! We've got the full overlay. We have the entire... We have the full overlay. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a black screen. <laughs> we actually see Midway's boot hill. Yeah, the Dave, Dave Nutting Associates, 1977. What were you up to in 1977? Yeah, player one is on the right in this game. So you've still got two little cowboys. Look at them go. As noted, this is basically the same game, except now they ascend when they die and get planted in a fucking grave. I guess in a way it's more... I guess in a way it's more violent than the original, then. You weren't born yet? It's okay, neither was I. We can be, we can be young people together. My, my right ear really enjoyed that sound. We're gonna try to 1cc this game, we're gonna try to never get shot. <laughs> I wanted to join in with the cowboy pun bits, but I sadly couldn't think of anything in the spur of the moment. Somebody shoot that guy. Thank you, Real Soviet Bear, for the 100 bits. So we're the one on the right, yeah? Advancements in video game technology. We've got AI. We actually have a cover system. Ugh! I'm already dead. We actually have a cover system. There's destructible objects you can use as cover. Which is pretty sick. Damn, I'm getting cooked! I will say, the background and the sprite scaling is doing something for me. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool, right? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend like I'm the one on the left, because then I'd actually be playing well. Damn, I'm out of bullets! Maybe Boot Hill just isn't your game. You're right. I know, let's have a spelling contest. <laughs> let's have a spelling contest. I'd do worse in a spelling contest. Do you think I can spell words? 
There was a typo in the stream title. We wouldn't stand a chance. Thank you, Fu Man Goo. Yo, is it me or is this dude cracked? There we go, I got him. I'm the best. Stein, thank you for the host. Yeah, reopen the new Yen Casino. Ugh! Great can't thank you for the host. <gasps> the cart's leaving! Use the cart for cover. Yes! Nothing excess, thank you for the host. Yeah, but we're the one on the right. Oh shit, we're bringing it back. There's only four seconds left on the timer, though. Oh, I tied it up with one second left. Yes! Game over. There is no tiebreaker round. Mike, thank you for the host. I feel good about that. I feel good about that. I'm not satisfied tying against an AI from 1977. We must conquer it. But yeah, a lot of games that run on MAME, particularly the extremely old ones, if you don't get the overlay, if you don't, like, also get the overlay that goes with the game, you'll just have a completely black screen. 70 bits, oh boy. I see, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. I don't know how long this stream is going to be in hindsight, because a lot of these games are, like, ancient and there's not much to do with them. But that's okay. We're just going to go in chronological order. We'll see what happens. Run it again. Run Boot Hill again. Four to four? That is intolerable. Oh my god, one shot, one kill. <laughs> Thank you, Pyro Boy. I'm glad you like the bits alert. Strangely fitting today. Yeah, we got a 1cc boot hill. Hold on, we're working on it. Oh my god! I'm starting to figure it out. He's beginning to believe. Use the cart for cover. Damn, he's good! How did he do that? Okay, okay, okay. I'm figuring it out. Did we get the download? I think we might have got the download. Predictable. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're gaming. Oh my god, that was my last bullet! <laughs> you did open the air in Black Mirror! Hold on, I got nine points. I can 10 0 this boy. I can 10 0 this piece of shit. Huh! I can't 10 0 this piece of shit. Alright, it's one to nine. Hold on, let me get 10 points though. No, let me get 10 points though. You were close. Huh! Huh! I can't get 10 points. I'm alright with 1 to 9. That's fine with me. <laughs> I imagine this would have been really fun in the arcade, though. Like, really simple game. Really easy concept to grasp. No. You're just having a fucking 1977 deathmatch in the arcade with your friends. I imagine this would have been more interesting to me no. than a lot of other things that were out at the time. It's also worth mentioning that um, Tomohiro Nishikado, the guy who developed both of these games, pretty much, and Space Invaders, he also made uh, TV Basketball, which is a extremely old. That game's from, like, 1974. We streamed that one, too. He also developed that, which was the first game to depict, like, human characters at all. Was I or no, I wasn't around in the 70s. This game explains why Dive Kick popped off like it did. <laughs> I mean, you only get one button in this game. The only button here is shoot. You don't even have a dive and a kick button. You just have shoot, but you have the stick for movement and then like an up and down That's lever. Question. To aim the gun. 
I'm gonna run this one more time. If only because I'm really enjoying it. You just watched that old basketball stream? I've got good news for you. Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, all you have is gun button. They, ha they already had AI figured out. The AI's cracked in this game. It was already figured out. Bring back three button or less games. <laughs> if, the, if the game's got more than two buttons, I'm out. It's too complex for me. Yes! I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on. Hold on, he's fighting back. He's very... He's very upset. He doesn't like how that previous set went. He doesn't like it! Am I playing this on an arcade stick? No, it wouldn't work on arcade stick, because you need the stick for movement and the lever to aim the gun. You'd need two sticks. Actually, I was going to play, uh, I was gonna do today on arcade stick, but then it turned out that a lot of the games I intended to play happened to be twin stick in some fashion. And so I was just like, ah, fuck it. I don't feel like switching peripherals midstream. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. I'm running for cover. We could put up aim and down aim on buttons, that's true. We got absolutely bodied that time. I appreciate this game. Fuck those cacti plants. There's no Audi. <laughs> Thank you, Chad Ruck. All this anti-cacti propaganda today, you absolutely hate to see it. But yeah, that's Boot Hill slash Gunfight. Very simple game. Very fun to play, though. If this came up in a mystery tournament, that'd be dope. Marry me with my money. I am Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> Thank you, Woody. <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts of the movie. <laughs> you see people hate Saboten Bombers? The Boot Hill Remaster? It's probably on Fightcade. Is Boot Hill on Fightcade? I feel like it probably is. What was the name of the ROM that switched between a bunch of games? Um, are we... Oh, you're talking about Multi Bowl. This, came, this comes up on Multi Bowl every so often. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. Right, let's see what else we got in here. This one is probably not strictly Wild West like cowboy themed, but it's I can't think of a I can't think of another time to play it. Let's take a look at Dog Patch. This is more this is more hillbilly than Wild Quest. But I can't think of another time in which we'll have a reason to look at this. Let's do it anyway. Shadrock, thank you for the nine whole years. Dog Patch is a game that's by Midway, not Taito, just Midway this time. This is a one or two player game of marksmanship in which players shoot at cans tossed into the air for high score and bonus points. Yeah, <laughs> look at the futuristic Midway logo. <laughs> handsome down home cap. Wow, it does say handsome down home cabinet. <laughs> Let me zoom in on that. Wait a second. <laughs> I gotta zoom in on this. Uh. Super Saiyan Jacob, thank you. One player versus computer. Games adjustable to 10, 15, 20, 25 cans. <laughs> Handsome down home cabinet graphics. Flexible game pricing. Twin 25 cent coin shoots. Amazing. Is a midway joy? Yeah, let me zoom in on this for you. Just in case you didn't know. Yeah. Don't call that number. <laughs> Definitely don't go to that address and don't call that number. <laughs> I don't think midway's there anymore. That's okay. Anyway, we're gonna play Dog Patch. I can't think of another, like, time where we'll be able to look at this game and have it be vaguely adjacent to the theme, so fuck it, we'll look at this one. We can look at this game today. I think we have an overlay for this one too, don't we? 
Do we have the overlay? <gasps> we do have the overlay. So this is a uh, weird tennis pong kind of a thing. But with guns, yeah? A can. A bean, a can, an empty beans can is thrown into the air. And then <laughs> the two people try to shoot it into the other uh, into the other person's part of the field. You get points when it lands on their side. So you're just Yeah, everything's more fun when guns are involved. I don't know if that's strictly true, but in the case of this tennis slash like volleyball type thing, yeah, probably. I think it's worth I think you get more points the longer the um the volley is as well. This looks like gun sport. I think I've heard of gun sport. I think I've heard of that. Insert coin. I think this puts us on the right. To start game, press one player button. Insert one more coin for player two game. Yeah, shotgun pong, basically. I think I'm the one on the right. Yeah, I'm the one on the right. Damn, he's good. Huh, huh. Yo, eat shit, nerd. I believe the longer the rally is, the more points it's worth. Oh no, he's good. <laughs> the strategy seems to be spray and pray. That's what I've learned. Oh no, I can only fire so many shots at once. Yes! Yes! What was this bird? What do you mean you got 61 points for shooting the bird? This game's rigged. This game is rigged, y'all. You blaze away! I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I can bring this back. I can bring this all the way back. Winner! Fuck! Shit! You know what? Just for that, let's turn on the plastic, uh... So that backdrop is supposed to be, like, backlit plastic, but it's not actually backlit. Hold on, let me backlight that. Uh... There we go. Perfect. Now it's slightly brighter. <laughs> it's nice that MAME has an option for that. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of these old games, you have to get the overlay to get to get the experience. Otherwise, you're just looking at a blank black screen. Yeah, our completely legitimate dog patch arcade machine. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. I want to win. The AI's cracked a dog patch. Okay. 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 Shit. Don Bluth presents Pong. Don Bluth's version of Pong would be nuttier than this. I'm convinced. I have bad news, gamers. I'm getting cooked. He shot the bird again. He gets such a crazy multiplier when he shoots that bird. Okay. Oh, I hit the bird this time! 60 points! Yes? Yes? No? Fuck! Damn it, we lost on the last rally! 178 to 169. We have to win a game of Dog Patch. We have to! I will not stand by this transgression of losing to the AI, which is completely fucking cracked at dog patch. We have to win one. <laughs> this is a, no, this game is fun. I mean, a lot of these old games, they're really simple, but they're, they're addictive and they're short enough that you want to put in another quarter. It's how they get you. It's how arcades get you, after all. Damn you arcades with your incredibly technologically advanced... Video games, at least at the time. <laughs> what was that rally? We just shot the shit out of that kid. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> this game's amazing. I can't believe a game this old has can physics at all. 
<laughs> Got the bird. That's huge. Who dares? Bit shifter. Thank you for the 11 whole years. Oh no. We're losing again. How can this be? Damn it. I can't seem to win a dog patch. The impenetrable game. We'll forget to go to the showing of Star Wars we bought tickets to. Yeah, that'd be... That'd be a disaster. I have to win a game of dog patch. You don't understand how badly I need this. The bird is clearly the tech. You're not allowed to miss the bird, because they don't miss the bird. You gotta make sure you hit those. Damn, he's good! Looks like it doesn't count if it lands on the ground on their side. It looks like you specifically have to knock it over their heads to score points. Which is fair enough. But you'd think it'd be good enough to just have it land on their side. But that's whatever. That is neither here nor there. Oh no, I'm getting, I'm getting roasted. Bird got... Yes? Yes! We won a game of dog patch! Ah! Uh, I did it. The impenetrable game. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. I did it. I, all I've wanted, all I've ever wanted to do on Twitch is win a game of dog patch. That's well gonna be done, it for me. Well done, That's good. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's good. Yeah, now I can retire. Thank I've completed, well I've completed all I need to complete. Well done, Turner. But yeah, no, this game had like, uh... This game had, like, a rotary knob to control the uh, angle of your gun. So in practice, this is also, like, twin-stick shooter if you're emulating it not on an arcade cabinet. You'd also need, like, two sticks for this one for... Actually, no. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just two rotary knobs total on the arcade cabinet, and then you just, like, twist it. Each player would adjust the angle of the gun. You have a fire button. It's not twin stick, yeah, yeah. We have to beat Dog Patch without letting the computer score any points. You got it. Check this out. How would that work, though? How could you stop them from hitting the bird? You can't stop them from hitting the bird unless you maybe you shoot the bird that shows up on their side first. Which seems like a Herculean task. I'll take that. Shoot the CPU, just point the gun directly at them. Hold on, I, I have to win again. I have to win again to see if it was a fluke or not. Oh no, it might have been a fluke. Hold on, we're back in it. Yes. Yes. What a rally! Are right, we still won. Still won by two, I'll take that. I won the salty. Just barely. He was coming, he was making a comeback. That's... That could have been a huge disaster, but we still... We held on by two points. That's good enough for me, baby! <laughs> True gaming achieved. I, I mean, I won by two points. It's not... It's not incredibly impressive, is it? But I'll take that. I'll take I'll take a dog patch W today. It's what I need. It's just what I needed to feel good about myself. <laughs> yeah, you guys doubted him. I doubted me. That's okay. We got other shit to play. We're gonna play a bunch of games today. A lot of them are quite brief. Let's take a look at Sheriff. From 1979, this game was developed by a very little-known company called Nintendo. I, don't, I wonder what they're up to these days. I don't think they went anywhere after Sheriff, really. As you can see on the arcade flyer, we've got a stand-up cabinet version of Sheriff, but there's also like a sit-down tabletop version of it, which is also pretty good. 
Yeah, I don't know who Nintendo is either. They're very obscure. This game was designed by Genyo Takeda, one of the brains behind Punch Out. It also had uh, art done by some guy named Shigeru Miyamoto. I wonder what he's up to these days. Is an old school Nintendo joint. Their shit gets much older. Nintendo is from the 1800s, I'm pretty sure. But as far as video games go, yeah, this one's pretty fucking old. I think this game was also released as, um... What the fuck was it called when Exidy licensed this game? I think they just called it Bandito, and then they took all the Nintendo branding out of it for, because that's just what Exidy did. Didn't the Yakuza use their cards or something? I think that's true. Yeah. Nintendo's ancient. Prehistoric, even. More people probably know the sheriff from, uh... What? He's an assist trophy, yeah? That's probably what more people recognize the sheriff from. He was also in one of the WarioWare games, yeah. This is also a twin stick shooter. We have left stick for movement, right stick for aim, and a fire button. Your objective is simple. You shoot all the dudes. But there's also like an absurd delay on movement in this game. You can't just move and expect to go in the direction that you're holding the stick. He doesn't move for like 30 frames, it's nutty. Shoot the bird, yes! Occasionally they enter the ring and you need to shoot them. So it's a very simple game. I mean, we say this, we say it's a very simple game, but this is also this is also miles more complex than the games we've looked at so far. Oh, I almost sniped him from downtown. You yes. Help! Look at that—a cutscene. One of the earliest examples of a cutscene. Yeah, the concept of a cutscene was still a new thing at the time. <laughs> That's actually cool to see. I, I must shoot the bird. Yes! I'm gonna be the best sheriff in the town! What are we shooting at, would you say? They don't look like bandits. They look more like aliens. They're very, very tiny. <laughs> They're cowboy frogs? Yeah, no, you're right. I can accept that answer. My aim, I gotta say, not stellar. My aim could use work. Space Invaders, both cowboys. To be fair, every game back then was Space Invaders. Because Space Invaders was such a big deal. Also by Taito. That everyone had to have their own Space Invaders. That's just... That's just truth. Space Invaders was big enough of a deal that everyone was like, Oh, we gotta get us one of those. Tilfin, they were the 36 whole years. We're already getting to the bit where we have to juke a lot of gunfire, I see. We're to see how far we can get before it becomes insurmountably difficult. It was the pioneering game, absolutely. We saved the girl! Heart. 5,200 points, I feel accomplished. Love to accrue bonus points. Big puntos. There's no top score. There's no high score on the cabinet, so I guess we'll just have to... We're just gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I am a god gamer and I got the top score as soon as I shot the first guy. I'm okay with this. Music's picking up. 
<laughs> the bongo colored game. Would you believe we still haven't streamed bongo yet? I'm gonna have to ask... I'm gonna have to ask Lord Jubo for the the full list of every game in the bongo verse. That way we can do the full bongo stream. Oh no, I got shot! It's okay, we had multiple lives. I'm gonna have to ask Chubo for the full list of bongo games. So we're gonna do the full bongo stream, we're gonna have to. Oh, don't you worry, Nabu does nothing. If you don't know anything about bongo, don't you worry, we'll get to it. The le Honestly, the less you know, the better. There's also Congo Bongo, which was on the, uh, the Master System, I believe. No, Congo Bongo was on the, the SG-1000, which predates even the Master System. That was, like, Sega's first one. Is there more than one Bongo? There's, like, 50 games in the Bongo-verse, yeah. Eventually, this game is gonna get so hard that it's impossible to survive. I can tell already. At the moment, I'm cooking. We're cooking right now, but I have a feeling at some point this is gonna get... It's gonna be impossible to survive for more than, like, five seconds. I almost sniped the shit out of him. What a shot! I feel accomplished. I gotta get 10,000 points. I desperately crave 10,000 points. It would make me feel so much better. The quest for enormous puntos. I will never cease until I have the top score on every arcade cabinet. Mercifully, the top scores are usually pretty low. I'm gonna snipe this bird. About to snipe this bird. <laughs> Never mind. He got saved by a friendly bandit. The bird's life was spared. Do I know what I'm saying? Yes. You see, Puntos is Spanish for Puntos. I have 8,000 points. We're almost there. Nothing exists. <laughs> Off screen having a canary. This is an available username gifted Punto Supremo a sub. Thank you so much. I don't know if I'm on my last life or not. I might be. Uh! I don't think we're gonna get 10,000 points. I think we're dead. Wait! I'm still alive! Oh shit, we're still in it. What a shot! Bonus! Score times two. All my score? Is my entire score multiplied? <gasps> I got 10,000 points! I did it! I did it! I'm finally a god gamer! Well done, Turner. Thank you! I've never been prouder. Wait a minute! It went back to stage one! It actually looped! Does that mean we beat the game? I mean, we just died, but does, does that mean we won? We beat the game, we did it. We found the loop point. We did it, we found the loop, we did it.
one cc of sheriff. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's good. I don't know if this game got ported to anything though. I mean, I'm sure it did. It was was it in WarioWare or just was it like? Check that one off the bucket list. Thank you, Ten Speed. I'm gonna do that. Was the whole game in WarioWare or did they just put Wario in it instead? Like, is the whole game is the is the game playable or I don't actually know. I haven't played WarioWare. Dead loops. Well, I mean, every old game loops generally. It wouldn't be wouldn't be till the 80s that you saw games that like had a definitive ending. It was just the one scene. Well, I guess that's fair enough because Sheriff is only the one scene anyway. Wario's head is on the Sheriff. <laughs> Wari of where? We could do a WarioWare game at some point. Or just, like, vaguely a Wario stream. Because I actually quite like, um... Wario, uh... What the fuck was the GameCube one? Wario World? That game's actually sick. That's a treasure game. <laughs> Jumbo Donut, thank you! 70 bits, oh boy. Alice and Rain, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. Yeah, Wario World is, uh, that's the treasure game. That game's fucking sick. You get to pile drive dinosaurs. 10 out of 10 game. I don't think there's been a Wario World 2 yet. I can only assume because they're all cowards! 70 bits, oh boy. Dot level, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. Do you like the <laughs> do you like the 70 bits alert? <laughs> Everybody's got a 70 bits alert at this point. That's just that's just the rules. Are you are you a streamer on Twitch.television? You should have a 70 bits alert with Duke Donuts face no. on it. <laughs> Everybody needs what I agree. Anyway, yeah, that's Sheriff. We we hit the looping point of the game, so I don't feel the need to do another run. 70 bits, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Space Hoppercopter, for the 70 bits, oh boy. That's a good alert, you're gonna steal it? It's a public domain alert. Duke Donuts is handing out the assets to make that alert. It's public domain. You can just ask him, and he'll give you what you need. Alright, what are we looking at next? It's a, it's a public domain alert. There's like 25 different streamers that have one. Let's take a look at... Let's see. 70 bits, oh boy. I'll tell you something for the 70 bits, oh boy. You're going to extract the assets. Let's look at Wild Western from 1982. We've escaped the clutches of the 1970s. We're into the 1980s now. This is a Taito joint. <laughs> this game also uses a rotary knob to uh, determine where you're aiming, but it also uses a stick at the same time. You have like, you have like a stick for movement. You have the rotary dial to determine where you're aiming, and I believe you have to push in the knob to fire. Like there's not a separate fire button. You have to push in the rotary dial, and that's how you shoot. I think it's fucking weird. Anyway, this game got, uh... This game is on Arcade Archives, I think. Like, you could get this right now on Switch or whatever you prefer to get your Arcade Archives on. Let's have a look-see, shall we? The ancient L3 button. Wild Western 1982 Taito. That's a good sign. Ah, we're in! Yo, what's up, Jordan? Insert coin, Taito Corp, 1982. The top score is 10,000. I can beat your top score, Taito. This is a game about defending a train, generally. We're not in yet, so there's no audio. You play as the, the guy on the white horse. You're shooting at all the bandits that are on the other horses. You have to defend this train from ne'er-do-wells. You can fire in any direction. You can move the horse in any direction. And yet, somehow, I find this game to be fucking impossible. That's okay. Put me in, coach. Oh, it sounds good. Push start button? Start button? Start button? I don't have a start button, gamers. 
Where's my start button? Start button? Eh? It was mapped wrong for some reason. Ghost riders in the sky? Ghost ri Ghost riders in the sky? That's absolutely ghost riders in the sky, yeah? Turn this game down. This game loud as fuck. Hold on. <laughs> loud ass game. Okay. That's a bit better. So yeah, you can move anywhere you want. You just gotta kill you just gotta kill everybody before they take over the train. You have to make sure that you don't run into the horses that don't have bandits on them, because the horses will stick around. Oh no, I got shot! Alright, we got him. After you clear a stage, you have a bonus game where you get one bullet with which to shoot this flying object. Huh! Shit! Draco! Thank you for the nine whole years. Yeah, yeehaw, partner. Yeah, <laughs> Johnny Cash is not gonna be happy. Johnny Cash is not gonna be happy that Taito stole Ghost Riders in the sky. Oh no, one of them's on the train! You know what we can do when one of them's on the train? Is we can also jump on the train. That's how dope this game is. You can actually hop on the train when they do. It's very difficult to make that jump, though. You have to line it up just right. Trains pulling in, yes! Yo, what's up, Interific? I can hit this. Yes! Yes! Oh, it feels good. Draco's on. Thank you for the host. I did it. Thank you. I feel accomplished. I don't have the top score. Oh no, I think I already died. We did not get the top score, gamers. I like that it keeps going, actually. The player's dead, I, I already died. All right, there it goes, it just leaves. Just leaves without us. We gotta get the top score, we didn't get the top score. Hmm. I can get that top score. 10,000 points, you're not better than me, Taito. I mean, you are, but I can beat 10,000 points. Ugh! We're already dead. I don't know, something about this game I've always found to be completely impossible. You can use the train as cover, which is nice. But the game's AI is also fairly smart, where they'll stay, like, full screen away from you. We shouldn't go to the top of the screen, because that's how we bump into cacti and shit. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, 10,000 points. We're definitely not on pace to get 10,000 points right now. We're already on our last life. And it's like the first stage. Oh, he jumped on the train! Hold on! I'm gonna hop on the train! <laughs> oh no! I got shot off the train immediately! It's so sick how you can do that, though. <laughs> We're dead as shit, don't get me wrong. But you can hop onto the train, which is way more in-depth than I would have expected from a game like this. And then when you're on the train... You can line up with your horse again to jump off the train because you're in a lot of danger while you're on the train, actually. We're not going nowhere till we hit 10,000 points. I can I got to get I got to beat 10,000 points. I will accept nothing less than the top score. Get away from me. Get away from me, horse. Okay. All right. 
Gaming. Gaming. Yes. Yes. We have to defeat Taito. We have to destroy Taito where they stand. Huh! Fuck! You only get one bullet during the bonus game. You get one shot at it. This is the greenest green I have ever seen. I've never seen a greener green than this. Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Metal Grease Howard wants to see horse dot gifs. We do have horse dot gif in the chat. We have horse dot gif as an emote. It's very good. So we're gonna need to hit these plates or whatever they are. If we want any shot at the high score, we're gonna have to hit these more. We're gonna have to hit these consistently. <laughs> 6,900 points. Nice. What a shot! It's almost got, like, a cover system in a way. With how you can use the train as a shield. We got them all. The stage is not over. Is there a second wave? THERE'S A SECOND WAVE OF THEM! WHAT?! Huh. Huh. SHIT! Hey, 9,000 points. We're getting better. Yeah, wave two? This game Is this game from the future? The far-off future of 1982, anyway. Hmm. Is the first shoot-em-up ever? No. Space Invaders would have been out. Actually, do we call Space Invaders a shoot 'em up? It doesn't move, strictly speaking, but it is about shooting things. I would say it's a shmup. It's like a stationary shmup. I, I would probably call Space Invaders a shmup. Would Space Harrier be a shmup? Yes. I would say so. That seems... That seems fair to me. I cannot seem to hit these guys. They have the greatest... They have the greatest jukes on the planet Earth! <laughs> this one guy... Alright, we got him. Yeah, Galaga, Galaxian. Galaga predates Galaxian, yeah? Pretty sure. I've always considered those two to be roughly the same video game. Is it the other way around? We gotta watch out for, like, rocks and cacti and shit, too. You can actually run into shit and get knocked off the horse. You have to be careful where you're going. So there's a lot to be mindful of. You have a few lose conditions in the game. One, you lose all your lives. But the bandits can also, like, hop onto the train. And if three of them hop onto the same train, that's considered a loss. So I think you lose a life. I don't think you're on a time limit, per se. Also worth noting is that your bullets can ricochet off the train, which could have some function in a scenario where you're, you and the enemy are on the same side of the train, and you want to just bounce it off the train to see if it hits them. 
Their bullets do not ricochet off the train. You can use the train as cover against them. They cannot. You can ricochet shots off it. So there's a bit going on in this game. What a shot! Oh, that's right, there's a second wave. I had forgotten about wave two. Oh no, we hopped on the train! I think we're dead. We were 300 points away. Sorry, we're gonna get it. We're seeing improvement as we go. We're seeing the improvement. We're seeing growth. I keep thinking I want this on one of those tabletop arcade cabinets, but my knees and wrists wouldn't forgive me. <laughs> Why are those so uncomfortable anyway? <laughs> the tabletop arcades? You need, like, a really low chair. You need, like... You need, like, a really, really low chair. <laughs> Thank you, Raycat, for the 100 tabletop arcade cabs. I don't want to get run over by this horse. You can, you can absolutely get run over by horses with no bandits on them. The horses of the recently deceased are still a threat. Nice. What a shot! What are you looking at? You're looking at Wild Western. The Taito game from 1982. Yes! Yes, it feels good. Red Dead Redemption Zero, yes. Oh no, you got me. It's alright, I took two of them out in the process. I'll take that trade. I don't like that there's one on my side of the train. I'd like to remove you from the screen. Alright. Alright, it's going okay. Never mind, we got shot again. Fuck. <laughs> it's re Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption wishes it was as good as Wild Western, the Taito game. Red Dead Redemption could never. We have to get 10,000 points, chat room. You don't understand. You don't understand how badly I need this Pyrrhic victory. You don't understand how badly I need this, in hindsight, unremarkable score. What I gotta do is I have to aim my eyeballs. I gotta lock my eyeballs on my character so that I can more accurately see... <laughs> ...where the, um, bullets are. Instead of me looking at them, looking at what I'm shooting at, I need to be looking at my character so that I can better dodge things. Still can't get over how green this is. And yet, somehow, the train is greener. Okay, okay. Progress is being made on the dodging bullets front. Still gotta watch out for everything else, though. Wave two? Can't forget about wave two. No, there's just one extra guy. I almost sniped him. The train is pulling into the station. All right, we got him. I wonder if that's an actual timer or not. Like, I wonder if you lose if you don't take them all out before the train gets to the station. 
Taito was going through a green phase. A lot of games were quite a lot of green. Yeah, Brad, it's just, you just shoot the guys, but don't, like, get shot by the guys. Most gamers don't know this. Oh my god, how did I dodge that? Okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're living. We're living. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, secret gamer tips. Forbidden knowledge being unlocked here live. Yo, what's up, Danny? He's on the train! I'm gonna hop on this train. I'm gonna hop on this train and shoot you, dude. Hold on, pull up right alongside the train. No, he shot me first! He's a genius. He's a genius, he got me! Yes! Music? What is this ice cream truck ass music? <laughs> Many trains used to be made of straw and reeds, making them susceptible to bullets. <laughs> ah, yes. These bandits are mortal, making them susceptible to dying. I did not hit the plate. That's okay. Yeah, Taito did elevator action. They also did elevator action returns, which is the greatest game ever made. I don't I don't have enough good things to say about elevator action returns. That game is fantastic. We've done it. We have the top score. John Taito is defeated at last. The galaxy is at peace. The multiplier just gets better. No, I was I was being serious, Raycat. Elevator action returns? Fantastic game. Like I was I was straight up the game was the game's amazing. Yeah, the Saturn version, I think, is arcade perfect, maybe? The opponent would know. The opponent would know. He speedruns that game. I think he speedruns the Saturn version as well. Nice. Nice! I've cracked the code. I tried to chase the plate. I, uh... I wasn't... I didn't go quite as fast as I thought. <laughs> How fast can I chase this down to line up this shot better? Little did I know. Yeah, there's a GDQ that's about to happen. Sadly, I don't think Wild Western is on the docket, but that's okay. Because there's plenty of other cool games that are going to be ran. I was happy to see that uh, Black Tastic got most of the things he signed up to run. Most of the most of his shit was accepted. I was happy to see that. Fuck. Why is there no cowboy block? That's what I'm saying. You could have Zallard run Sunset Riders. At least I think he still runs that game. I'm not sure. Yes! Oh no, I got run over. I got run over at the very end. Eh, we got th we got 36,000 points. Oh, really? The stage continued even though we got hit off the horse? Really? Whoa, that one went fast! I wonder if it's going to game over after the bonus stage. <laughs> yeah, it came over after the bonus stage. <laughs> You know what? I'm okay with that score. That's a respectable score. 
I can be proud of that score. I can use the money from this incredible score to feed my family at last. 42,000 points. We've triumphed over John Taito at last. Taito has been defeated. <laughs> I did it. I played a game averagely. <laughs> my shining achievement. Getting an okay score at Wild Western. That's okay. Yeah, rip Taito. Zuntata's still around. I mean, Taito games are still around. <laughs> yes, average, yes! You gotta celebrate average more. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Sometimes it's okay to be completely mind-numbingly average. That's okay. <laughs> right, what else do we got in here? Gotta go one year into the far-off future of 1983 when Taito released another rootin' tootin' good time by the name of The Tin Star! No relation to the movie from the 50s. Do the high scores reset when you reset ma'am? Yeah, probably. Yeah, the Tin Star. No relation to the movie from the 50s or the book it's based on. Also no relation to the SNES game, also called Tin Star. It's another Taito game. Same exact control scheme, I'm pretty sure. No, absolutely no relation to the SNES game. I don't even think the SNES one is made by Taito. This one is. I don't think they have anything to do with each other. Isn't Tin Star on SNES like a light gun game? Or bits of it? I don't remember. That's the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, it's like a light gun-ish at times. Look at him go. Look at John Tinstar. The Tinstar. Insert coins. The score, the top score, is still 10,000 points. So this is a single-screen run-and-gun in which a shit-ton of dudes appear. This is the demo. There's no sound. A shit-ton of dudes appear. You just have to shoot them all. You have left stick for movement. You have right stick for aim. You also have a fire button and a jump button. So for 1983, it's really, really busy, actually. Yeah, Taito does it again! It also is really, really fucking smooth in its controls compared to some of the things we've played already. There's not, like, a crazy delay on movement, and it's not the janky, like, Wild Western controls. It's really, really smooth and easy to play, this video game. What? I did it. Yeah, this Taito company has a bright future. Into the saloon we go, where we are assailed by more... more banditos. We can also use things as cover, which is pretty good. If we were to hide behind that piano, the bullets would actually stop there. We can hit the bottles, and it actually kills the dudes underneath. Wait, wait, I'm cooking. Yes. We're cooking. Cooking. <laughs> Ikari Allen! We gotta get upstairs! Note the cover system of being upstairs. Note how the downstairs bullets cannot reach us. Note that the downstairs bullets cannot reach us. 
Note that you have a tactical advantage from up here. At least, at least until somebody comes in through that window. So this may be one of the first games ever that has something of a cover system. Which is really cool to see. Excuse me, sir. What is this non Euclidean geometry saloon into farm action? Yeah, I don't know. I can't explain why the saloon goes into a farm. It may just be the combination saloon farm that every town had to have. It might just be one of. Ah, oh, shit. We gotta cover that window more. That window? That window's a nightmare. Ugh! Damn. We're never gonna get the top score at this rate. Alright, once we get to that screen, we need to gatekeep that window. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna gatekeep the shit out of that window. Taito is too powerful. They're simply too strong. Yeah, Wild Western got an Arcade uh, Archives re-release. Sadly, this one did not, I don't think. Several of the games that we plan on playing today are on Arcade Archives, thankfully, but... Some of them are also, like, eight bucks. And I don't know if people would spend eight bucks on, like, Wild Western, for example. Yeah, that bandit did not want to let us have the high ground. Nah, no, we're just gonna gatekeep that window. Once we get once we get up there. We gotta we gotta hold on to that high ground as best we can. Yeah, there's a ton of games that would be well served on arcade archives, I think. Is Violent Storm Is Violent Storm on there yet? Has Violent Storm been re-released at any point? Or are we still... is that game still trapped? Has anything happened with Violent Storm? Nothing? Yeah, absolutely hate to see it. That's one of the biggest crimes of all time right there. Violent Storm being trapped on MAME to this day, that one of the biggest crimes in history. <laughs> Keep in this window. Nope. I have the tactical advantage. He jumped! What a god! Alright, these are the last two. Nah, I'd like to see you try to climb that ladder. <laughs> Is Violent Storm the first game I streamed? No. Oh, I only had one shot. I only had one shot to hit him. I missed. The first game I streamed, I'm pretty sure, is uh, Crime City. Also an arcade game. One of my favorite games ever, Crime City. We have to do another Crime City run at some point. That's a, I mean, that's a hell of a video game. That's also a Taito joint, actually. <laughs> oh, I jumped into the barrel. Stream Zero, I don't remember. I don't exactly, I don't entirely remember what we played that day. We're never going to get the top score at this rate. We're going to have to get better at the first two screens. That's okay. We're never going to beat John Taito's score no. at this rate. This is a disaster. Yeah, stream zero lost a time. That's on me, to be fair. I didn't check my Twitch settings when I did my first ever stream. And I didn't realize that you have to manually enable the saving of your VODs. And so, there's no archive of that stream, it just, that, that one's just lost, that's why we call it Stream Zero. Oh, 
Oh no, I've already been shot. This is a disaster. Yeah, no, that was on me though. I should have checked my settings in advance. I didn't realize that you had to manually enable the recording of VODs. Try this again. The only way to beat this top score is to become John Taito. Fuck! This is a disaster. We're already on our last life. We're never gonna beat John Taito at this rate. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. Someone call BBH. Tell me how to be good at Tin Star. BBH would know. I don't think we have iframes when we jump. But maybe we should try to jump through bullets next time we're placed in a checkmate scenario like that. Ugh! So we can get hit by the barrel and we don't actually die. I'm alright with this. It's the saloon screen I'm the most worried about. Because you're just being attacked from every which way. The third screen, there's only three screens in the game. The third screen, you have the... The third screen's probably the easiest one, as long as you can get upstairs. This one can get kind of rough, because you're just being shot at from everywhere. Yeah, the three screen run and gun. We also have to try to, like, win at the bonus stage as well. Where you, like, walk past a guy, or you, like, on horseback, you ride past a guy joust style. Yeah, you can shoot the bottles and it will kill dudes that are underneath them. It's pretty sick. The high ground is mine! You. <laughs> this screen? This is where... This is where all the magic happens on this one. Just the fact that bullets cannot reach you up here... ...is a marvel of programming, I would say. We've got actual functional cover. To be fair, Sheriff had to cover as well, like, destructible cover. And hell, even Boot Hill had destructible cover, but... Those games are much simpler than this one. We've got... Multi-layered environments we can walk around on. You actually have ladders that go upstairs and shit. Wow, this last dude's fast as fuck! He's fast as fuck, boy! What a shot. Yeah, they can go up the ladder! Space Invaders also a destructible cover, yeah. Let's try this again. Huh! Damn it! You have to fire that really early. Your bullet goes so slow that <laughs> you have to fire so quick. You have to pre-fire. I don't know how I avoided death there! I'm actually really impressed with what I just saw. The dude that just popped out of the saloon doors, he did not fire where I was, he fired where I was going. I didn't realize they could do that in this game. Alright, we're well on our way. There's a lot of dudes in this saloon.
You know we have to stream at some point. I don't know why this saloon setting gives me vibes of it, but we gotta play uh, Tapper at some point. Tapper's neat. I'm not very good at it, though. Might have to steal some strats from somebody who's got Tapper strats. You. His hat changed colors. Yeah, no reload mechanic. Your revolver has infinite bullets. We got the top score! Yes! The top score, yes! I've done it! I've beaten your game, John Taito. Gotta buy a 12-pack of mug cream soda. I've never been, a, like, a much of a uh, cream soda guy, if I'm being honest. More of, like, a... More of, like, a Sprite. Sierra Mist. Kind of lemon-lime. Kind of guy. <laughs> cream soda's fine, though. What's my favorite soda? Well, none of them since the incident. I just don't drink it anymore. But, uh... I like Vanilla Coke a lot. Vanilla Coke was pretty good. Can I hit this other guy? I fired way too soon! <laughs> I fired a little too quick. Yeah, we pre-fired. Well, I mean, we you, you kind of have to pre-fire to hit the guy, but not by that much. You don't have to pre-fire by quite that much. Yeah, that was way too big of a pre-fire. You... Look at him taking cover, he's a genius. How did he get downstairs so quick? An explosive soda can killed Dino's firstborn. Yeah, that's the lore. No, I just don't drink soda anymore since I've had a kidney stone. I just... I just don't. <laughs> As soon as my urologist was like, yeah, don't drink soda anymore, I'm like, alright, you got it. I ain't going through this shit again. <laughs> yeah, it's basically my reaction. Yeah, you got it, Doc. You don't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's all it takes. I mean, if you have a kidney stone and you've experienced a kidney stone before and your urologist is like, hey, if you don't want another kidney stone, stop drinking this. You'd be like, yeah, no, absolutely. Never drinking this again. <laughs> so now they're starting to appear from the other window. They're starting to appear from the window on the right as well. What do I drink now? Almost exclusively water and lemonade. Was that rat? Was that a fucking rat? Yeah, water and water accessories. The good news is, water is delicious. Yes, we got him! Yes. Are water flavor packets an option? Yeah, probably. I've never... I mean, I've never really been into them. But, I mean, I assume they're fine.
<laughs> oh my god, he fell into the trough! This game is sick! <laughs> I haven't seen that yet, that was amazing! Yeah? Can I use this as cover? <laughs> what was the point of that? Oh my god, what a snipe! He poked his head out at the wrong time. Am I the ultimate Tin Star player? Wow, I didn't realize. I didn't realize I was a god gamer. I'm coming to terms with my newfound superpower. Never mind. Never mind, we're not a tin star. We're not, we're not a tin star superstar. I'll take that. I'll take that double kill. <laughs> yeah, the secret is to drink more water. That's, uh... <laughs> Water doesn't have any taste? No, you don't understand. Water's delicious. You don't understand how how delicious water becomes when you've been sufficiently scared into drinking more of it by having a kidney stone. You don't understand how delicious water becomes. 70 bits, oh boy. John Matrix! Ah, oh shit. Thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. 45,000 points? That's a higher score than we got in Wild Western. I'm okay with that. That's not too bad. <laughs> We've defeated John Taito's score. That's good enough. That's good enough for me. Yeah, no name entry screen, for whatever reason. I guess that's fine. We've seen the whole game anyway. There's nothing beyond the three-screen loop. Although the three screens that are there are all pretty cool. You know what this game reminds me of a bit? It reminds me of, um... It reminds me of Dead Connection, which is also like a single screen shooting gallery. That game has a huge emphasis on destructible environments though, but they're kind of they're they're kind of similar. Dead Connection's really cool. We're going to have to play that again sometime. I'm a big fan of Dead Connection. But yeah, that game had some cool stuff. It had like a cover system sort of. Or, yeah, Dead Connection is just one of the dopest arcade games I've ever played. I would love to get back to Dead Connection at some point. Let's play... Ooh, let's go even farther into the future. The far-off future of 1984, when uh, Sanritsu and Sega released Bank Panic, the arcade game. This game got ported to a ton of shit. I'm pretty sure this game got ported to the, the SG-1000. It got ported to the Sega Master System. I think it got ported to the MSX. I think it might have got ported to the MSX. It also got, like, unofficially ported to the Commodore 64 <laughs> ZX Spectrum, that sort of thing. Shoot the kid with all the hats, yeah! We'll try to explain how this video game works. Is that Mario? Um, yeah. No, yeah, that's Mario. Pretend you didn't see that. Bank Panic Sanritsu slash Sega. Where were you in 1984 chat room? I wasn't anywhere. I wasn't on this earth quite yet. Let's see if we get a demo screen. You get to choose which level you'd like to start on. There's our hero, John Bank Panic. Yeah, West Bank. That was the C64 version. Thank you. I didn't have the name. So this is the demo. In which you have to scroll from door to door. At the top of the screen, you can see all 12 of the doors. And you're trying to get every door to have somebody make a deposit at it. So every time somebody leaves a money bag there, like this guy just did, you'll get a dollar sign on that door. So you gotta scroll around, looking at the top of the screen to see which ones have deposits. And the end goal of the stage is to make sure all 12 of those doors have a dollar sign there. 
This is still the demo. I'm not actually... We're not playing just yet. You've got a timer at the bottom. You also have to make sure that you shoot them. The dudes with guns, you can only shoot them once they pull their gun out to receive points for them. If you shoot them before they pull their gun out, it'll say that you were unfair. And you get, like, the minimum possible points for it. So you actually kind of have to wait. I'm curious if this demo actually beats the stage. Unfair. You only get 100 points. That's the lowest possible point count. You see how room number 10 has a bomb? So you have to scroll over to door number 10 and shoot the bomb on the door before it explodes. Because that also results in a death. The demo is not going to shoot the bomb, I guess. <laughs> yeah! 70 bits. Oh, boy. Panza, thank you for the 70 bits. Katoon! He didn't shoot it. He just didn't. I want to see if this demo clears the stage. It's interesting that you get to see multiple lives of the demo. It's not like you see a little bit of gameplay, then it's back to the title screen. You actually get to see a full attempt from an AI, which is bizarre. Oh, he got shot. He's dead. Game over. That was weird. You get to see the demo game over? Alright, put me in. We'll just start at level one. So yeah, there's a three-button game. You have a button for each door. Left, middle, right. Left, center, right. You can only see three of the doors at a time. You can see which three that you're looking at, either from the numbers on the door or by looking at which ones are in red at the top of the screen. That was unfair! I shot too soon! You play as a banker? I guess so? Or at least you play as the guy protecting the bank. So all three of these doors have deposits. We need to find three new doors. We shot way too soon. Alright, we just need doors 5 and 7. Easy stage. And that's basically just your goal. Make sure a deposit is made at every door. That's how this game is played. They start tricking you, though. Sometimes a person will... Sometimes a bandit will show up hiding behind somebody, or sometimes they'll take two shots to kill. They start... they start tricking you <laughs> in this game. You have to be ready. Yeah, the crowd goes wild for banking. <laughs> the little kids with hats. You have to shoot all the hats for them to make a deposit. I think it's the ones with the white boots, specifically, are the ones you have to shoot twice. I think that's how you can tell. Alright, we gotta get to doors 10 and 12. Easy game! Yeah, unfair shows up if you shoot a guy too early. <laughs> if you shoot a guy too soon, it'll tell you that you were unfair. There you go. If you hit every hat, they make a deposit. Huh! Always be ready to fire in this game. Alright, those were both unfair shots. You know what? Oh, there's a bomb! Oh no, there's a bomb over at door six! Huh! It's getting a little busy. It's getting a, it's getting a little hectic. Okay. Door number two. We still need a deposit. Thank you. Damn, he's good. Cool. Oh no, door number two. They stole the money. We gotta get over to door number two. They stole all the money. 
cool. Cool. Cool, cool. This is going strangely well. I wonder how we're going to get cooked. It's all going to come crashing down. This empire of successful banking. Yo, what's up, Papa Trunks? Yeah, doors can be robbed! Holy shit, wait, there's a bomb! Blows up! Okay. No, I didn't shoot fast enough! Let's get over here. Doors 8 and 9, we gotta check. Holy shit! Door number 12, we need a deposit. Thank you! This game has, uh, this game is similar in some ways to, uh... What the fuck was that Nintendo game? Hogan's Alley? That's Nintendo- good. Nintendo made something that was kinda like this, called Hogan's Alley. Oh, I almost got it! No, I don't mean Wild Gunman. Wild Gunman is... more strictly a light gun game. I'm talking about Hogan's Alley is scrolling around like this and shooting dudes. Although, you know what's really cool is the arcade version of uh, Wild Gunman. The, like, FMV one, not the NES one. The fucking FMV game from, like, 1974. That game's fucking sick. Finally, we got that deposit on door five. Not too bad. Holy shit, it's too much! The three squares mean someone is there? No, the, uh... The three that are in red are just the three that you're looking at. The squares, once the, like, red... Once the red, uh... Pip gets to the bottom of the meter, that means that there's somebody at the door, yeah. My reactions were not swift enough. We got 100,000 points, though. Yeah, the red line is where the person is. I'm pretty sure we got the top score. Oh, there are no top scores. Yeah, we take those, baby! Well, let's see if we can beat this score. Surely. Surely we can beat 108,000. Why does getting shot knock the paint off the wall? No, there was, there was no paint there to begin with. There was like a person-shaped gap in the paint. There's just no paint. Because whenever somebody gets shot in this bank, they end up in that exact spot. Every time. This looks and sounds like a Master System game. This did come out for the Master System as well. So there's a good reason for that. Alright, new goal. The mission of personal growth. We gotta try and beat 108,000. Door number two, I would like a deposit. Thank you. Oh, I shot too soon, we got an unfair. You only get baby amounts of points when you make an unfair shot. 
What if I told you I was John Taito? I'd believe it. Do you know, do you know Zuntada? Do you know John Zuntada? Was Zuntada one guy? I can't believe it. Is this on Arcade Archives? I, I'm not sure. I feel like it probably is. I feel like it is. I feel like it probably is. I'm not actually privy on what exactly has been released on Arcade Archives. I only own a single Arcade Archives release, and it's Karnov's Revenge. That one I made sure I purchased. <laughs> Nice. Where do we need door number three? Stop making deposits, I'm trying to scroll! Oh. You have Neo Turf Masters on ACA? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. That didn't go too bad. Yeah, the only one I bought was Karnov's Revenge. I had to buy Karnov's Revenge. I was contractually obligated to. You only get the deposits on those dudes with the hats if you shoot every hat. You, got, you just gotta fan the hammer. Alone. We're getting a lot of unfair shots. We're firing far Alone. too quickly. Alone. That'll do. 1,200 points for that instead of 100. Nice. Alone. Nice. Very good. 11, 12, 1. Oh my god, all those deposits! 2 and 4 we need. Yes! Hoping for more Data East games on ACA. Did they ever put, um, is Trio the Punch on there? Is Trio the Punch on Arcade Archives? That'd be worth it. That's good! Trio the Punch is upcoming! This is excellent news. Oh no, there's a bomb! Okay. Oh no, I wasn't looking at the left door! You have to- you gotta be looking at every single one. You can't get caught slipping for one moment. Keep your eyes peeled at all times. You don't have a moment. There's five, we gotta get over to five. Four and five. Alright, we just need a deposit from five. Thank you. Yes. Is that enough for the top score? Probably not. Not quite. We're on our way. We're well on our way to the top score of Bank Panic. We have to beat our own top score because we simply gamed too hard! Some of these guys, you gotta shoot them twice. Yeah, we over-gamed. Okay. Shit! So much going on at these three doors! We gotta go. We gotta go. Huh. Nice. 11 and 12? Oh no, I shot an innocent man. I've made the- 
<laughs> I've made the cardinal sin. I shot an innocent man just now. You hate to see that type of thing happen. You lose a life when you shoot... You lose your life when you shoot a not-bandit. <laughs> the gamer has overgamed within the game that has been overgamed. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely hate to see it. Thank you, Danny, for the 100 games. Yes. Alright, well, we beat our top score on the backbone of these bonus points we just got. We have obtained a new score. We've done it. The journey of personal growth is complete. We have completed the mission of improving our first top score. We have recorded proof that I've gotten better at the game. <laughs> Oh no, I wasn't quick enough! I was shooting at the hats, so I wasn't looking at the other doors. We have another life. We got one more. All three of these doors are empty. Let's keep an eye on these ones. Data East, more like Data Least! Somebody shoot that guy. I can't believe this. Data East slander in my house? I won't have it. I'll be having none of it. Oh my god, they were everywhere! Thank you, Panza, for the 100 uh, Data East slanders. It's alright. We beat the top score. Beat the top score. I'll have to be satisfied with that. We got absolutely schmixed. We survived for 25 additional seconds. Data East more like Data Least. I can't believe this. You know what? Shoot him again. We shot him early. Now that it said his thing, shoot him again. <laughs> Thank you, Panza, for the 100 minutes. <laughs> I can't believe Dino shot the chat. We didn't even make a pun this time. How could you? Yeah, I know. I'd be fucked up. It's okay, Brad. I would never shoot you. Take the shot. I would never shoot you, Brad. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty satisfied with how that went. We should check out the um, Master System version of some of these, like, arcade games. The, the Master System got a bunch of arcade ports. We should check some of those out at some point. Do, like, a goofy Master System arcade port stream eventually. I think that could be neat. <laughs> let's go to the far-off future of 1986! Oh! We're ju we've just been going in chronological order today. In 1986, Lord Data East released Express Raider. A kit, a hit kit from Data East, also available in Data East Convertible Upright. Yo, what's up, Chibi? Tin Pot Gamer! Thank you for the host, Tin Pot Gamer. Lord Data East. Actually, I wrote 1995. It's supposed to be 96. Hold on. Wait, I can fix that. We can fix that in post. 1986. There we go. This game is dope. Suggested price $995. That's for, like, arcade operators buying the cabinet. That's not the price of playing the game. <laughs> yeah, no, this flyer is for... This flyer is meant to be to entice arcade operators to buy a cabinet. It's not meant to get people to play the game. But yeah, let's play Express Raider. <laughs> Whoop, that's the wrong one. This one. One CC for 995 cents. Best 10 Raiders. 150k, I can beat your score, SKN. It's hard to categorize this game, honestly. Because you look at this and you're like, oh, this is a fighting game. Like, you can look at the demo and you'll be like, what the fuck even is this? Is this- is this a fighting game? Is this a beat-em-up? You're punching coyotes? Now you're on a train? Is this bad dudes? It's basically the sickest game ever made, right? So it is kind of like Urban Champion. 
skin is going to be so mad when you beat their score. Yeah. Watch out. He's dead. Bad dudes cowboy edition. Did you notice at the top of the screen that there was a tug of war style life bar? And it's not just that, there's also shooting stages too! There's quite a lot of game in this game! The point is, Data East is the best. Data East has always been the best. I'll accept no no other opinions. Data East has always been the best. This game is no exception. Lord Data East has done it again. Let's play the video game, shall we? Raid the train and get the gold. It's also worth mentioning that you're the bad guy here. You're not protecting... You're not protecting the money on the train. You're taking the money on the train. You're the bandit. You're not a sheriff. This is one of the only games today that has oh you gosh. being the other guy. Note the tug-of-war style life bar. When you get hit, you lose health. Note that the action goes from train car to train car as well. The player character legitimately has one of the best low forwards I have ever seen. Yeah, it's nutty, right? Although the best move as far as I can tell is the jump kick. You just want to jump at them and kind of... <laughs> just kind of do your sick cowboy jump kick. Huh! 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 Oh! 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 Got him. Got to duck under the sign. Environmental hazards. He's got a shovel. Uh. Yes. No music, though, for whatever reason. There we go. We've stolen the money. You've got the best horse in the whole West. Now we've got music. Shoot everyone in the train. You're not a hero in this game, you're a menace. <laughs> Alone! It's going well. Yeah, it's just Red Dead Redemption. I mean, the size of the sprite here is absurd for the time. The size of your sprite on this horse is so much bigger, so much more detailed than, like, every other sprite at the time. So they really, really went all in on presentation. I can't believe I'm fucking dead. We got shot. We're fucking dead. You hate to see it. I think I shot somebody that was innocent, and we lost a life for it. I think we shot someone we weren't supposed to shoot. I think the lesson is don't pre-fire. Don't shoot at the people dropping money, I understand. So we can't just sweep the gun across the screen willy-nilly. We have to make sure we're not shooting at extra bonus shoot hidden targets. I can do that. Where are the hidden targets? I guess that's why they're hidden. Maybe if I just sweep my gun across this train, we might accidentally hit a few. Oh, there's one. Ah, there was one. We've only found a few hidden targets. Cool, cool, cool. What's the top score? 150k? We might have to... This might take some attempts to get good at this one. You! Huh. Cowboy jump kick! Not the coyotes! Oh my god. I'll take that. Easy game. He's got a gun! Oh my god, he has a low gunshot and a high gunshot. Was that fight? Is that Sagat? Is that Sagat? He's got highs and lows? He's the best. Look at this guy pushing crates. 
<laughs> you have to destroy the crate so that he doesn't push you off the damn train. Oh, no! If they're not all fights, some of those rooms are gimmick rooms. Oh my god, look at the presentation of the initials, yes! This game is so sick! And you get to continue? Nah, we don't need to continue. We don't need to continue, because we want to try to get the top score on one credit. We only got fifth place! Embarrassing. Do it again. Yeah, no, this game's amazing. This game is fantastic. If I'm not mistaken, this game also got ported to, like, the Commodore 64. I think that was a U.S. Gold joint, though, which people are bound to have mixed feelings about U.S. Gold ports. What? Oh, I jumped into the side! We started at a disadvantage. Primarily, this is the jump kick show. You just jump kick a lot during these fight scenes, because it's the only way to attack and advance at the same time. Only when we're fist fighting on the train do we get no music. I guess all the sound is occupied by the sounds of the train. And there is just no room left for music at the same time. Completely occupied with train sounds. Back to shooting. Get that train. So now we understand the gimmick. Now we understand the gimmick of the guy that tries to push you off the damn train. We have a greater... We have a greater understanding on what not to do. You kind of have to... You have to haul ass. Yeah, US Gold has a... Uh... What's the- what's the kindest way to put it? U.S. Gold has a... ...has a reputation for... ...making lots and lots of ports. Particularly on old computers. <laughs> Tradition- they have a checkered past! <laughs> That's so much kinder than what I was going to say. <laughs> Oh, I almost got hit by the bottle. We've definitely played a few U.S. Gold ports at this point, I'm pretty sure. We must have... This is going well so far. Yeah, they were not based in the U.S., despite the name. Which explains the release on so many, like, European computers at the time. Strider returns on stream. I don't think we've played any Striders on stream yet. I don't know how we've dodged Strider for this long. Okay, so we cannot hit the same targets more than once. Man, thank you for the 30 bits. Take your spare bits before Twitch takes them. You got it. I'll put them to good use. Hit Coyote for points! Can I jump kick the Coyotes? Yes, I can. Shit! Maybe not. Eh. Damn it. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Huh, he's got a gun! Uh. Nice, nice, nice. This guy. You. We gotta figure out how to kill this guy quick. Once we get rid of the crates. You got me. He got me again. He's a genius. Okay, now we have all the advantage we need. We have all the extra space we're gonna need. 70 bits, oh boy. Yes, there we go. 
Oh, there's a bomb! Get the fuck off my leg! Get off my leg! Where are these gimmick rooms? <laughs> Uncle Andros, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy. I jumped into the sign. Somehow I iframed it. Not the guy with the shovel. Yes. Yes, train has been conquered. $20,000. Express 4, mount the horse and use your gun. Is that a fucking bird? The bird took me out. The bird? The bird absolutely killed me just now. I got killed by a goddamn bird. Fucking bird land. Uh! Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. Oh, I can shoot their bombs in mid-flight for extra points! We gotta be careful not to shoot the, uh... Whoop! I'm not entirely sure how to avoid the birds, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Once we're in bird land, I'm not sure what we're meant to do about it. Let's continue. Let's see what happens when you continue. Does it put you on the same stage? Yeah, it looks like it does. Oh, I see. There's a duck button. The streamer lacked critical information. There's a duck button! You know what? Back that up, then. I have an idea. Back that up. We have the bird tech. The bird tech? It's been acquired. We may now pursue the high score. <laughs> the streamer lacked critical information, but now he has it. You. You. You actually get different point values for different attacks as well. The jump kick gives you 200 points, but the crouching punch only gives you 50. So there must be a move that gives you more points than everything else. If you're trying to go for score, there must be score strats. Or rather, some hits, it seems, give you more points than others. I'm not sure what the exact reasoning is. Nice. Nice, nice. It just fucking mash on the jump kick. That's how this video game is played. Yes! Am I gonna get hit by the sign again? Am I gonna get bonked by a sign? No? Are we good? Sick. Did this game invent counter hits? I think so. It's like a weird, like, it's it's a weird, like, fighting game. It's like a fighting game beat-em-up shooter. All at once, yeah? Which is bizarre to think about. Because fighting games weren't even really a thing at this point. They sort of were. Beat-em-ups weren't really a thing yet either. At least not as we know them now. Shooting games certainly were. But this game has a lot going for it that really, like, wasn't a thing at the time. Yeah, Urban Champion Operation Wolf, that's not a bad... It's not a bad way to put it. ER Kung Fu was probably out at this point, I would say. ER Kung Fu was probably out by now. Man, I wish I was good at ER Kung Fu. There's a game that I adore. There's a game I love to bits, but I'm absolute trash at. Yep, 
Yeah, it looks like every time we find a target, that dude drops 200 or 2,000 points for us. Yeah, Karate Champ was also out. Karate Champ is also data east. And it's also where the ox comes from. What game do I not like, but I'm really good at? I don't really not like any games, I'm sorry to say. Every time I tell people this, they're like, well, that can't possibly be true, but... I don't know. I, I pretty much like everything. <laughs> There are some games that I feel like I should be bad at, but I'm kind of good at them, though. Gotta duck under the... Gotta duck under the gate. Multiverse Paul, thank you for the... Get off my leg! Get the fuck off my leg! Ugh! Look at these guys. Look at these... Look at these guys. Command grabs! Look at these command grabs! You! <laughs> I should have got hit by that sign because the bonk timing would have been immense. Alright, John Shovel. I'm not scared of you, John Shovel. Huh. Huh. Yes! The train is mine! Uh. Yeah, the timing was- that, that timing was about to be amazing. All right, so this should be Birdland. This should be the Birdland stage. So we got to use our duck button to not get hit by birds. This one, this one should be Birdland. Fucking stork with a money bag? What? Is that a fucking money stork? There's good birds too? No one told me there were good birds. I was gonna shoot the bird, but it's a good bird. Huh, that's a bad bird. Oh no! We dodged the bird and then we got hit anyway. You absolutely hate to see that type of thing happen. Oh, I have to shoot that money. I thought I could just catch it. No, you have to shoot it. I shot the I shot the person with the money bag. That was a that was an error in judgment on my part. <laughs> Just shooting where I think guys are going to show up, and then they actually keep showing up there. It's kind of nice. Yeah, there's a timer for each train car. I don't know if it results in a game over, if you don't hit them all, or if it just results in you going to the next car. But I'd rather not have to find out. So I'm trying to shoot that shit as thoroughly as I can. Okay, we did it. Find the hidden targets. Break the targets. Just kind of carpet bomb the whole train in bullets to find the bits that will net me bonus points. You cannot see them. You just kind of have to shoot and hope that you get paid for it. Go for that gold! Tough fight ahead! No coyote phase on this stage. Oh, that guy left. That guy dropped a bomb. We gotta go. That window. We gotta go. The bomb's gonna explode. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was, in fact, still a coyote phase. How silly of me to assume there wouldn't be coyotes on the train. No, you're right. I should have anticipated this. Oh, no! <laughs> this game's great. 
<laughs> this game's amazing. Let's continue. We lost our score, but I just want to see what's past this point, really. This guy again. So they just put bombs everywhere now. No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Okay, we got him. Oh no, we gotta go! <gasps> Get the fuck off me! Oh my god, this game gets nutty! Uh! Not another one! This game is manic. We're being placed on time limits on all these train cars because they keep putting bombs there. You gotta haul ass in this game. You don't- there's no- there's no time to waste. You just gotta fucking go. You just gotta go. You just gotta go, there's no time. Okay. <laughs> This game is really hectic. <laughs> the sharpshooters on the train are out to stop you. Get the loot! Incredibly hectic video game. Yes, we got the money from the stork! Wait, that gave us, like, a speed boost! Nice. Nice, okay. Yeah, that train gave us a ton of points. If we had gotten that on the same credit, we would have had the high score for sure. But alas, we lacked the critical information we needed. I'm just gonna sweep... Just gonna sweep my gun across the screen, really. There we go. Switch has an arcade archive of Tin Star? That's good to hear. Tin Star is very cool. I shot the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, it just tells you no. Exactly. You were close. No. Damn, he's good. Okay, okay. We're still going. We're still cooking. Shooting a lot of innocent bank customers today. There have been a lot of innocent people. A lot of innocent people have died so far. You don't want to see me play a light gun game. Because in light gun games, I don't give a fuck, right? If somebody shows up, if somebody just comes into the frame, if they walk into my line of fire in a light gun game, it's over. BK something, thank you for the 30 whole years. We got shot as soon as we loaded in right there. ET phone home, thank you for the 99 whole years. I just want to see what's on the next stage. I want to see how hectic the train stages get, because they're already pretty, oh god. They're already pretty hectic. Lethal Enforcers too, yeah. I don't even- I don't think Mayhem can run that one quite right. I think that game's got, like, graphics problems. To this day on Mame. Unless they've been fixed in a- in a really recent version. We're kind of pinned down in the corner. Our sprite is too big to dodge some of these. Yeah, we're gonna have to do, like, a light gun stream where that's all we do that day is light gun games. My big weakness in light gun games is that I don't care who walks onto the screen, I'm shooting. And quite frequently, light gun games will give you these innocent targets or these friendlies that you're not supposed to shoot. And I don't give a shit, I'm shooting. <laughs> that's how I play light gun games, generally. <laughs> 
a lot of innocent people died when we played uh, Die Hard. Uh, we played Die Hard Trilogy Part Two, which I think is the, I think that's the light gun game. So many innocent people died in that one. Yeah, I just want to see. I just want to see what they. Oh my God, he's cracked! Did you see that? Did you see? Did you see? <laughs> that was crazy. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Oh my god! He's the best. He's the best. He's insane. Yes. Ow. This game's great. This game is incredible. Damn it. Yo, this game gets really, really hard. But in, like, a really fun way. The bouncer. Oh no, not this again. This fucking guy. Got him. Oh no, but the bomb's exploding. How didn't we go fast enough? We couldn't have done that much faster. This game's incredible. Yeah, that timing. The timing gets real tight, because they just put a bomb there immediately. You don't have time, really. You don't have time to fuck about. We still might not make it. Ugh. Oh my god. You have to be so fast. <laughs> you, you literally just don't have time. You have to go. Oh, I can punch those. I can punch the dirt that he shovels out. <laughs> Dude, this game gets... This game gets ridiculous. The train's got the biggest load of gold. Alright, let's clear this stage, at least. We can clear this stage, and then we'll see what else we got in our big bag of games. You punch the coal! I anticipate more birds. I almost shot that guy. Fucking bird land. Yeah, those like top of the train stages, they get the timing gets so tight. <laughs> you just have no time. You have to you have to jump kick as quick as you can. Because if you kill him too slow, the bomb explodes and you can't jump to the other car in time. You have to be so quick. No. But that's arcade games, baby. At some point, you're expected to die. Put in more money. <laughs> Remind Dino to save. We're playing arcade games today. There's no... There's no way to do that. That's not a thing. I wanted that. I wanted that money. Oh no, I shot the wrong guy! See what I mean? This is why we can't play light gun games. We can't play light gun games. Too many innocent people will die. Yeah, that's true, the Neo Geo memory card. For the games that are supported by it, anyway. Fuck. Yeah, two whole kilobytes. Oh, is question mark not allowed? Oh, there it goes. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. This game's amazing. There's like a really cool sense of progression, too. Because they steadily give new, like, obstacles. Like, the birds don't show up right away. The dudes with the bombs that force your hand on the train cars, they don't show up right away. The enemies get progressively more no, cracked. Son, pause the arcade game and your MMORPG and come down for dinner. <laughs> Pause your MMORPG and come down for dinner.
I've definitely had I've definitely had that conversation before while playing a fighting game online. I had the uh, "What do you mean you can't pause it?" conversation before. <laughs> that was a fun time. <laughs> Let's see what else we got in here. From the same year, from the very same year, we have Konami's Iron Horse, nineteen eighty six. This one, I believe, also got ported to the C64. I don't know if that was a U.S. Gold joint, though. The best way I could describe this game is it's kind of like a belt-scrolling version of Russian Attack, which Konami made a year before. Yeah, we get to ride a robot horse. Get ready. Melancholy, thank you for the follow. You can't pause Minecraft, Mom! <laughs> This game is dope because it actually gives you, like, multiple ways to play it. You'll see what I mean in a second. Let's play some Iron Horse. This game is cool. This game is also impossible. We're not going to get very far in this game. This is an impossible game for aliens if there ever was one. Mmm, that's a good intro screen, though. So here's our demo. Oh, it's loud. Hold on. So it's kind of like a beat em up. It's got like a lane system, right? Like some of the Fatal Fury games have Guardian Heroes Streets of Fury EX, which we played super recently. Yeah, this game is dope. This game is dope as hell. It's got three lanes with which you can walk on. You can see the lines on the train where the lanes are exactly. Is Wild Guns on the menu? Is Wild Guns an arcade game? Is my counter question. And you'll find the answers you seek. So we get to choose three weapons. Whip, gun, punch. Let's try all of them. Use a whip, good luck. You got it. Use the whip first. Yeah, there's a weird glitch in the corner. It's fine. Yeah, we're gonna use every weapon. We'll try every weapon at least once. Your best friend in this game is the crouch. You can also go on top of the train car if you so desire. Your best friend in this game is the crouch, because a lot of enemies in this game have projectiles that you must crouch underneath. A lot of people throwing guns, uh, not throwing guns, but they're shooting at you, they're throwing knives at you. Some of them throw lassos. All of these can be crouched underneath. So you're gonna need to make friends with the crouch button. My bomb does not work so good. There we go. Yeah, they're throwing guns. That'd be a hell of a move. If they were just throwing the actual guns at you. Use my remaining bombs to clear the screen. There we go. Stage one complete. I think this game only has like five looping stages. We've already cleared one of them. Like, it goes up to 1-5, and then stage 2-1 is a loop of a uh, 1-1. As far as I'm aware, though, this game requires lots, and I mean lots, of memorization. Because they will quite frequently set you up with, like, impossible to deal with enemy waves unless you know exactly where to stand to not get cooked. Who dares? Dude, a guess. Thank you for the twelve whole years. Woo! Let's give me out. Let's give me out, Captain. The good news is we have the top score already. Just wait it out. Just wait things out. 
You're not in any hurry, friend. Well, we kind of are, because we have a time gauge and we're not allowed to let time run out. Yeah, you can attack up and downwards a lane. You don't have to attack left and right. You can attack in the lanes next to you as well. Oh, no! You don't have a life bar, so when you get tapped, that's it. You gotta stay- you gotta stay on point at all times. Are there any bosses? Only, like, one. Only one? There's, like, only one enemy in the game that could be considered a boss. Usually when you get to the end of a stage, you have, like, just a huge wave of bad guys you have to deal with. That's usually what you, what you want to save all your bombs for. Whenever you get a bomb pickup, you get three of them. I don't think the game tells you how many you have left at any point, but... We walked straight into a bullet, that's no good. I don't think the game ever explicitly tells you how many that you're holding, but you always have three when you pick up a new... bomb pickup of some sort. Oh no! He hit us with the firebomb, that hits the whole lane. The most dangerous move of all is the firebombs. You get hit with stuff like that a lot more frequently in the later stages, but the game gets rough right around stage two, because there's only five stages, and then they just start to loop. So they were like, alright, fuck it, let's make this game impossibly difficult. And then they did. <laughs> and many tears were had. That didn't go too bad. Many credits were deposited, yeah. So we're gonna try each weapon. We're gonna try every weapon. The whip is good because it can, like, pierce through enemies and hit more than one. Like, if there's several dudes in a line, the whip can hit all of them. Which we cannot say for the gun. But the gun has its own advantages. Oh no, I tried to attack him. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like Russian attack this game. This game does not have any extends either. If you continue, I don't think you go to the next or I don't think you get to continue on the same stage. So that might be about as far as we ever get. What advantage does punch give? Punch gives you extra score. So if we look at our weapon loadout again, we can see that the whip and the, the gun give you $100 per kill. The punch gives you 200 But obviously it's a punch and it has less range, so they decided to make it more rewarding by giving you more points for it. The gun, on the other hand, is not a full-screen projectile, as you might be hoping. But it is the only weapon in the game you can move and attack with at the same time. Like, you can move and shoot. That's the big advantage of the gun. It cannot pierce through enemies like the whip. It can only hit one guy at a time, so you have to mash it if you want to hit a load of dudes that are stacked up. But you get to save so much time by being able to move and shoot at the same time. Which then lets you play uh, slowly towards the back half of the stage. You get to take your time more because of all the time you saved early on. Virtua Kazama! Thank you for the 23 whole years. This ain't going too bad. Ya bang bang! The gun's range is not impressive. But at least it's the safest of the three. Not too bad. music just switched you give me your bombs money bag 
wait it out. Oh no! <laughs> There's no jump button in this game, so as soon as he rolled that bomb, I'm like, all right, I guess I'll die. There's nothing we can do to get out of the way of this bomb. Yeah, it's an incredibly long train. The entire game takes place on this one train. So we gotta go up and over here so that he doesn't roll a bomb down on us, yeah. Oh no, I was shooting downwards, but I guess we weren't lined up enough. That's okay. It's mostly the, the, the crouching, like, sombrero guys that you want to watch out for, because they're the ones that use the bombs against you, and they're much better than everyone else. DZ, thank you for the host. Yeah, we're hijacking trains today. We're not very good at it, though. We're kind of getting cooked, actually. Let's try that again. Actually, you know what? Let's get a thick, huge score by punching dudes. Let's get the thickest score possible using our new punch, our newfound fists. You'll notice that when we hit the first guy in a line with the punch, that it knocks them into every subsequent guy. <laughs> And if you have the punch, I think you run faster as well. I think you run fastest while you have the fists equipped. That might be, that might be a placebo, actually. I'm not sure. But the punch is good in its own right. It has the least range, sure. But it's just as lethal. Oh my god, we're already at the boss. We're already there. We gamed so hard. Oh my god, he's unstoppable. John Iron Horse yields to no man. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, the guns were holding us back. They really were. Give me those. Give me those bombs. The bombs are basically like a screen clear everywhere around where the bomb landed. Very convenient weapon to have. I'll go up and over. Ignore the problem entirely. I'll go up and over. What an anti-air! That was crazy! Oh, that was active. The smoke cloud that was still an active hitbox. You gotta give those bombs a wide berth. Is this Nooch? I think so, yeah. Just fucking punch, dude. Just punch everyone. I've got three bombs for this. I am not scared. I'm not particularly scared. I've used all my bombs. We're fresh out of bombs, gamers. I think the top score is ours. Yes, the new top score. Wow, was using the punch the actual answer? Everything started going better when we started just punching. Maybe the weapons are overrated. Maybe the new meta is just punching dudes. Uh! The dudes that roll bombs across the screen, they are public enemy number one, because you cannot jump over those. You just can't. I love the way they all just fall down. <laughs> the way they all just- ah shit, I walked right into them. The way they all just domino when you start punching them, it's so good. 
I'll take that top score, yes! We actually did the worst with the gun. We did the worst by far with the gun. The whip and just punching shit is the way to go in this game. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. There's still some other games. Yeah, Guile was right. But yeah, no, this is a really cool game. There's not much to see. It's five looping stages. They're all quite similar. I think at some point they have some enemies that, like, uh, like fly in on birds. Like, they're holding onto an eagle and then they attack you. But other than that, you're on the train the whole game. The scenery doesn't change much, but it's the Wild West, baby. There were lots of train robberies. <laughs> All right, let's play some other shit. What else do we got in here? I think that's it for the 1980s Wild West games. When do we see the horse? Never. The titular iron horse, we never see it. You never, you never ride the iron horse. You're on the train the whole game. There was a horse in the background, though, at the very bottom of the screen. We've escaped the 1970s and the 1980s of Wild West video games, we now enter the 1990s, where a little-known company named TAD Corporation made Blood Brothers, the dopest game ever made. TAD Corporation also made Cabal, which this game is very much just Cabal. This is the spiritual successor to Cabal, I would say. That's not unfair to say. <laughs> yeah, load mouse wolf. Yeah, you're not wrong. What else did Tad Corporation make? They made Toki as well, oh, yeah. I think. They didn't actually make that many games. They made Cabal, they made Toki, they made this. And they made a few other things. All their games are cool, though. They went out of business a few years after this, though. They went out of business in, like, 93, which is tragic. We're gonna have to turn this game all the way down. Because this game has the loudest gun in the history of mankind. Nice dip switches. Tad only made it to area 1-3? That's good! Let's see if there's a demo. Let's see if we can get a demo in here. Blood Brothers. Hi. Yeah, this game is very much pie-ass. Have you seen pie-ass before? You've seen this game, then. So this is a crosshair shooter, or a cabal shooter, if you will. It is so... This genre is so <laughs> permanently attached to cabal that some people just call them cabal shooters, and I don't think that's unfair to say. Servant Proto! Thank you for the two whole years. Yeah, it's just like Wild Guns. Wild Guns has a jump button, though. This game does not, but you still get a dodge roll. Put in a coin. How many coins will we need? Probably a lot, because I ain't played this shit in a oh hot gosh. second. Yep, that gun's just as loud as I remember. Hold that thought, actually. I think if we... I think if at the very start of the game, if we juggle that can enough, I think we can get an extra life. Let's see if we can get that extra life real quick. We're in the lab. We're in the juggling the can lab real quick. I think we have to do it just right at the very start. I think you only get one shot at it. You can juggle nationals! Hold on, we're gonna see if we can get this. Cause I think that's a thing? Hold on. Hold on, we're gonna try to- we're gonna try to make this work. I have an idea. I have an idea, we're in the can juggling lab. So you gotta time that shit just right. In order to keep it within the same area? I see, I see, I see. I see, I see. Polish up those Hogan's Alley skills, yeah. Let's turn this down. I'm gonna turn that down a tiny bit. 
so that the chat room can actually hear their own thoughts. Aha! There's the one-up! It's real! I knew that one-up was real! We can also juggle the can to get extra bombs. Or sticks of dynamite, in this case. In Cabal, they'd be grenades, but... Here, they're dynamite. We're gonna be needing a lot of dynamite to survive boss fights. Or just problematic encounters in general. This is very much a game about hoarding dynamite for later. And then you do the Cabal Happy Dance. <laughs> Look at him go! He's so proud of himself. So yeah, you have invincibility frames on your roll. There's gonna be lots and lots of rolling. You can occasionally pick up better guns. Your only real objective is to empty out the foe gauge at the bottom of the screen when you kill enough bad guys to empty out the foe gauge. You're done with the stage. Oh, there's no can to juggle! What am I supposed to do with no can? What does one do with no can to juggle? I guess we simply have to shoot at the other guys then. Yeah, we have two revolvers, and we never have to reload them. Yeah, there was a SNES port that was planned for this game, and they didn't end up releasing it. Lead designer had a stroke. Had to bail out, and then the project went unfinished. As a real story. Ah, yes. Good old Wild West Zeppelins. Oh, the train boss! Yes! Neo G O S N K, thank you for the follow. Uh oh. It's time to start spending grenades. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Stage 2. I think there's five stages in this game. I think Cabal is the exact same amount. So 20 stages total. Five stages with four uh, rooms in each of them. I, I should say. <laughs> Very good. How did you rapid fire that? That's pretty good. I thought you had to click those manually, that's some good... Yo, secret Twitch tech? That's crazy! That's pretty good. Whoop. 
We're once more trying to hoard as many nades as possible. Thank you. Which means we gotta shoot that can more. Get that can to drop as many grenades as possible. Lord BBH! Ow. BBH, thank you for the 22 whole years. I love Blood Brothers. I'm not the best at it, but I think we'll do okay. We've been playing arcade games all day. We've been playing some, some Wild West arcade games. I've learned that I'm not very good at Iron Horse today. That's my main takeaway so far. <laughs> that didn't go too bad. Who's texting me? You know shit about Iron Horse either? Alright, cool. That makes me feel a little bit better. Bits. Oh, boy. oh, thank you for the 70 bits, oh boy! I need more grenades. Excuse me, I need more dynamite. Is on your list of things to look at? I would love to see the Iron Horse, like, 1cc strats. I've definitely... I'll tell you what's great about the 1cc BBH series is every so often when I'm in the mood to stream arcade games and I'm like, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Let me go on YouTube type in 1cc BBH and then the name of the game nine times out of ten it's already on there and then we get to see BBH's strats and then we completely fail at replicating them but at least we know them. That's half the battle. <laughs> You don't know what counts as a loop? I think Iron Horse is five stages total, and then it loops. E, 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 e. Oh yeah, no, I bet that happens a lot. <laughs> I, bet there, I bet there's lots of... Yeah, I'd like to see you 1cc this, and then it's like, yeah, check 1cc BBH episode 1. <laughs> we owe BBH a great deal. The premier arcade game streamer on this hell site. And the person whose layout I shamelessly stole for my own streams. We owe quite a lot to BBH. Yeah, I'm sorry, there's no royalties. You get absolutely nothing. Your layout, it's mine now. Usually I'll... I used to roll these too early and then get hit in the, uh, get hit by the active frames of the bombs. That used to be, like, a common problem when I was playing this game. I would roll those explosions way too soon and then get hit by the fire that was still active. I've since learned to roll late instead of early. <laughs> you don't think you've been asked about any metal slugs in a while? Eyes on the road, streamer. Every time you read chat, you get hit. 
What would be the hardest Metal Slug to 1cc? Definitely not the first one. The first Metal Slug is so easy that I can 1cc it. Oh! Alright, you got me. Maybe three? Three? Ugh, I don't know. I feel like you'd have to hoard grenades for, like, the end of the game. Uh oh I rolled into the fire. Yeah, stop, drop, and roll into the fire to avoid it. We're doing... We're already on a second credit, which is not impressive. But we'll play it out anyway. juggling. There is something really satisfying about can juggling, I gotta be honest. Who is that man with that money bag running away? I bet he would have dropped a weapon if we shot him. Okay, so those things only shoot straight up. They don't angle their shots, which means as long as we're standing over here, they don't pose much of a threat. Is this the same train from a few stages back? I hope so. Can you imagine if this game had that kind of continuity? This could be going better, but it's not going the worst. The only thing about this game is the gun sounds are incredibly too loud. There's music in this game, but you generally can't hear it over the deafening sounds of your own boomstick. But that's okay. Wanted more. Wanted more dynamite. They gave me nothing. The can has betrayed me. Alright, cool. Ah, yes. Back to Birdland. We thought we were out. Just when you think you're out of Birdland, they drag you right back. I'll take that. Yeah, Hard Times, the like... Uh, what was Hard Times? The Hard Times was like the Italian hack. It was like an Italian hack of this game. It just redid all the graphics, but it's otherwise the exact same game. I don't know how I'm alive. I don't know how I'm still alive. Ah, 
Ah, shit, they got me. I don't know how we survived that much. I'll be honest with you, we were supposed to die so much earlier. So the thing about bosses in games like this is usually if you have to use a continue, you'll get they'll get all their health back. So that it remains a fair fight for them. You can't just, like, do the last bit of damage on a continue. Which I think is a good idea. I don't mind that. Yeah, we really gotta shoot those fires when they shoot the fires at us. You have to hit those out of the air, because if that fire lingers, it makes it unsafe to roll. You'll roll right into that shit while it's still active. That's where we fucked up. Can! Oh, those all drop dynamite! Really? <laughs> the fucking bathtub! Yes, I need that large gun! Oh no, I wasn't looking. They got the bullet, they snuck it past. That's okay. No. Doot doot doot. This game's great. <gasps> Salard! What's up, Salard? We're currently getting cooked in Blood Brothers. I'm definitely better at Cabal than I am this game. But that's not saying much, because Cabal is also a much easier game. <laughs> oh, you gotta be quick. They're close enough to the screen at this point that when they shoot, you don't have much time to react. Cool, cool. Yeah, this game's great. If you've played Cabal at all, you know exactly what you're getting into. Or, uh, Pie Ass, even. Same thing. Tepid Snake! Thank you for the 27 whole years! Woo! I didn't know the can could drop guns. That's useful. We should have been can juggling more often if they can drop guns for us. All right, fair enough. I should have been paying attention to the enemies and not the can. I was too hype about can juggling. <laughs> A2B, thank you for the 25 whole years. What the can drops after like eight hits depends on the stage. Yeah, we got the, um... We got the one-up on the first one. Are there any other, like, can-based one-ups? Or is it just that first stage? Yeah, can-juggling is always worth it. Gives me twin B vibes, although I'm not good at bell-juggling in that game either. <laughs> There's quite a lot going on. Thank you. 
a moment's peace, that's all I ask. <laughs> Not safe to roll for that gun. I was about to go get that gun. It was unsafe to do that. I rolled the wrong way. That's all right. Throw some dynamite at him. Yeah, you gotta aim low enough that it hits the fire. <laughs> so that it doesn't hit you. You gotta aim lower than you think you do. Under the orb snake. A frankly ludicrous quantity of orbs being produced by the orb snake. Cool. At least we had something of a strat for once. Stage five. This should be the last stage. I think it's got the exact same amount as Cabal. All I remember is this level had a really annoying, like, boomerang guy that climbs the flagpole. And he'll throw boomerangs that you have to roll through. We got him. <laughs> we killed the problem before he threw his boomerang. You'll love to see the Cabal happy dance. Yeah, that was the Cabal skull. There it is again. Gun. Ominous lightning as we approach the end of the game. Oh, the fortress is crumbling! Oh, I got hit. I didn't see what hit me. I was too busy looking at my uh, my, my targets. <laughs> yeah, games like this, they really require you to divide your attention. It's never been, never been a strength of mine. Doot, doot. for all the free guns. Never mind, we're dead. You hate to see that type of thing happen. Wait, what is this giant... What is this giant hole I can put in the ground? I never knew I could shoot there. Oh my god, we should not have did that. We should not have opened up the floor. <laughs> the way they just poured in. Yeah, we summoned all the mole men when we did that. Oh 
Holy shit! All right. Understood. Cool. I love that he's just so happy about all the destruction he's caused. He's just so pleased with himself. Oh, these gotta go ASAP. Cool. Cool, cool. We have peace and quiet, at least for a moment. Whenever there's nothing to shoot at, get some more dynamite, generally. That's the only strat I've worked out. Ah, shit. Yeah, I gotta bring back the faux gauge. You. Another train of doom. My, what a large life bar you have. Oh, those respawn at the top of the train. Oh, that's an issue. Oh my god, that's a huge dude! Look at the size of this boy! Absolutely enormous lad. The biggest lad I've ever seen. Tore off his poncho. Is he even? Do we piss him off? Oh, we pissed him off. <laughs> I don't know where to stand. I don't know where to stand. I'm just scared. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, give me these guns. You know? You know? As cooked as we got the rest of the game, that final boss went really well. <laughs> That's good! Well done, Turner. Well done, Turner. I'm okay with that. I can't be too upset. We spent like five bucks on that game, but I can't be too upset. Yeah, big bad John. Then he rides heroically into the sunset. Yeah, large displeased Jonathan. Well done, Turner. Is Wild Guns an unofficial sequel? No, it's not. It's not a Tad Corporation game. That's Natsume. Get <laughs> John Blood Brother, yeah. This game's great. This is a game that we'd have to put more time into to get real good at, though. Cabal, I could probably 1cc. Definitely not this one. At least not right now. We'd have to lab that shit out.
game's great, though. I'm a big fan of it. What else is on our Wild West docket? We've just kind of been going in chronological order today. That was 1990. I think we're out of 1990 games, so we have to go to the far-off future of 1991, where the greatest Wild West video game ever conceived came out. Of course, I'm referring to Sunset Riders, the greatest game of all time. This game requires no introduction. Frankly, we've played this one so many times. <laughs> I've played this game quite a lot on stream. Oh gosh, this is going to be a bit of a de-rust, though. How many times have I been asked if I'm going to play this? Oh, you've no idea. This came up. This has come up quite a lot. I don't think I've played this since... When did we play this last? I think it was the end of last year. This might be a little bit of a de-rust. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how roasted we get. That's good. You play it blindfolded. Yeah. Good timing. Cormano! Just doing this for the notification. Also, I'm the best character. Yeah. I don't think that's up for debate. Cormano is the fucking man. New Year's Eve is the last time we played this? Yeah. I don't think I've played it since. So this might... This could be... This could be a huge disaster, or we might randomly play really well. I'm not sure which it'll be. <laughs> Are there other characters? No. Cormano is the only character. Contrary to popular belief, there's only one character in this game, and it's Cormano. Does Turtles in Time count as a cowboy game? Uh, for that one stage, yeah. Bury my That's shell at Wounded question. Knee. For that brief period of time, it is a cowboy game. Thank you, 10 speed. Thank you, Cormano. There is only Cormano. You know what we have to do at some point is we gotta learn how to get good at the bonus stage. Because every time I see other people stream this, they nail that bonus stage, and I don't think I've ever. I don't think we've ever gotten 50 hits on stream. Something about it is beyond my power. Run to avoid getting killed, chat room. It's just, it's just Don't sound life advice. TT bad guy. Thank you. Yeet. Always run to avoid getting killed. Whoop. I didn't know I could get hit by the back of the bull. That's new. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Let's back that up. I didn't realize there was an ass box. That's good. That's new information. You learn something new every day. Well, I'm gonna have to learn to fear the ass box. The first ever ass box in video games. We're gonna have to learn to live in fear of it. The first time that happened to you, you vowed to always do a big jump off the final one. I'm gonna take that advice to heart. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that happen before. That's pretty good. Hell yeah, it goes tall. Sorry I'm late to the posse. I had to do some catching up with Texas Red and Philly beforehand. Now point me out for the bad hombres and let's get this party started. Thank you, Ghost Tall. Is that is that Wild Wild West lyrics? I don't remember. Time to pay. Say the line, Simon Greedwell. Oh, 
Right about here? This where we stand? Yeah. Marry me with my money. He did it. He said the line. <laughs> the overlapping fanfare. Marry me with my money. Bury me with my dollar. <laughs> Very good. Marry me with my he did it. He said the thing. Bury me with my money. Thank you, Simon Greedwell. Thank you, A2B. <laughs> Thank you for the ass box clip. Yeah, genuinely, I've never known that the Bulls have an ass box. That's... I mean, I'm, I'm happy they do, because that's really funny. But I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> me with my money. Oops. Ow. My bones. All of my bones. Why would you do this to me? You will regret this. See you in court. See you in court. Thank you, Simon Creed. Well... Ah, oh, thank you, Stein, for the 100 bits. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you, everybody. I wonder what stage we're going to get cooked on the most. Because I'm thinking of, if I haven't played this game in about five months, what stage would I be most unprepared for? I feel like probably the Scalpum's stage? I feel like if we're gonna get cooked, it would most likely be there. So I'm a little worried about that. That's not gonna. That's gonna be ugly when we get there. Pan's a thing for the 100 Austin Abide buys. Don't bury me with Simon Greenwell. He smells like moldy sweat socks. Yeah, that's probably true. Simon Greedwell only had one dollar to his name. It's very tragic. Okay, Dino's top five cowboys in fiction. Top Go. five cowboys in fiction. Okay. Uh, Engage me with my personal wealth. Let me think. Ramsey's Jacob Fly, thank you. Top five cowboys in fiction. Rising Zan's gotta be on there. Cormano from Sunset Riders, uh, Tennessee Kid Cooper from Sly Cooper 4, who else? John Marston? I don't care much for John Marston, I'll be honest with you. You got me. You got me. I've never been good at this bonus stage. Never have I ever been good at this bonus stage. John Marston's cool, though. I don't got anything against him. But I do prefer Red from Red Dead Revolver. You just spin and mash? Is that the strat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have, I don't have like, precision. When it comes to this minigame, I am not precise in my inputs. It's very sloppy. That's not bad. It could have been much worse. <laughs> it was close. We got 90% of them. This is my favorite stage in the game because we get to abuse iframes to avoid most of it. Every time you pick up an item, you're invincible for a while. And this game just gives you, or this stage just gives you, like, a really long string of free shit. Like, this stage just gives you hella free items that you can just abuse the iframes of.
do 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 What about Arthur Morgan? I haven't played Red Dead 2. I don't know anything about him, unfortunately. The easy answers for me are Cormano, Rising Zan, and Tennessee Kid Cooper. You would heap big trouble. Oh, I gotta learn. I gotta. I gotta pester Zallard about this Dark Horse quick kill at some point. Yo, Bento, thank you for the 100 bits. I gotta, I gotta pester Zallard about the Dark Horse quick kill, because I don't know how to do it. Me in deep, big trouble. Immediately duck and angle down right after jumping up. Okay. We might fuck up the El Greco strat, too. I don't have the... You all right, ma'am? Oh, those terrible men. Please help. All right, ma'am. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Dark Hans! <laughs> Thank you, Dark Hans. I'm in big, big trouble now. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no, I fucked up. We died on the easiest boss of the game. Ah, it's fine. Let's get our shit back. This is like the easiest boss of the game, so that's really funny to die there. This is also my favorite theme song in the game. Like, every boss gets their own theme tune. This is probably my favorite of them. That was a bang. Welcome Chat room. Get ready. Chat room, get your best dance emotes ready. Is that Boggy from fucking Kaiser Knuckle? <laughs> that is that's pretty good. All right, so full disclosure, I've never been good at. I've never been good at like the El Greco quick kill. We're gonna try it, but I've never been good at this. You have to like stand in a pretty specific spot, and I've ne I'm not good at finding that specific spot. It's all right. We're just gonna game. That's all. We're just gonna game really hard, and we're gonna find that spot. Die, gringo. Oh, did I find it? Sick. Cool. Hey. We never do that right. Every time we try that, we fuck it up, but randomly we got it today. Yeah, we got a new hat! You only get the new hat while playing as Cormano. So in addition to his cool shotgun, you also get the El Greco Easter egg, which is nice. Ooh. 
48, that's not too bad. We improved very slightly over the previous one. Here's the problem stage right here. Here's a stage I've never been good at. Just ever in the history of mankind. Have I ever been good at this stage? The impossible stage for aliens. I'm out of here, nerds. See you later. And it's got my favorite tune in the game. Love this tune. Let's get ready to powwow. <laughs> yeah, this boss is like public enemy number one. This is the most like infamous boss in the game, especially if you're especially if you've been playing particularly well. This boss will throw more projectiles. Like this game is rank. And if you've been gaming too hard, this boss will be even more fucked up. How many knives can he throw at once, if you're on a good run? Like, five? Deathless on default makes him throw four. Loop two always throws five. Yeah, it's fucked up. For the meme, thank you for the 420. But yeah, no, he's a problem. That boss is a problem. I don't know if we're gonna have time for loop two today. Not that we usually do anyway, because we usually do, like, big play-a-bunch-of-game streams. Because there's at least two other games I want to play today. We might not have time. We should do a Loop 2 full run at some point, though. Just to see how cooked we get on Loop 2. Yeah, I should also learn Loop 2, I agree. That's been on the to-do list forever. <laughs> Yeah, loop two, it's just harder. This is true of a great many arcade games. Usually the ones that do loop, subsequent loops will be harder. Not always, but a lot of the time. This game should have been a sequel machine. There was Mystic Warriors. Which has the same DNA as this game, but isn't storyline related. Chief scalp him! Oh, I fucked up. I jumped right into that shit. Now have my hot sister as the spoils of battle. You have my <laughs> blessing. <laughs> That's terrible. Thank you, Chief Scalpum. Doot doot. Oh no, that's a bad slide. Slide better. I'm just gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna shoot him. I'm gonna continue to shoot at him. Uh -huh. He's the best. When the heck these engines learned how to do ninjutsu, them skills were never around in the days of Old West. I think. <laughs> I best go checking my history books on the martial arts real quick before I make a fool of myself. Hasta la bye bye. 
yeah, Mystic Warriors, I would say, is, what, significantly harder? I don't think that's unfair to say. Mystic Warriors is much harder than this game. Yeah, no, that game is fucked up. I saw BBH labbing Mystic Warriors, and I'm just like, nah, I ain't doing all that shit. <laughs> the Herculean task of 1CCing Mystic Warriors, you can miss me with that bullshit. I'm gonna play that game, and I'm gonna spend $5 on it, and I'm gonna like it. There's quite a lot of boys here. The never-ending surplus of boys. Oh no, I was supposed to jump off that. Alright, put me back in. I'm just gonna keep shooting, there we go. Yo, Neon Caster! Oh, we gotta go. Neon Caster, thank you for the raid. What were y'all up to at the at the Neon Caster stream? Blistered Hobo! 70 bits, oh. Thank you for the 70 boy. bits, oh boy. Can't think of a single arcade game you've been able to 1cc. It's not meant to be easy. Arcade games want your money, generally. I got knifed while reaching for the dynamite. They're meant to be. They're meant to be difficult. That's why 1CCing them is generally seen as a pretty pretty good achievement. Yeah, imagine finishing an arcade game on one credit. BBH wouldn't know anything about that. He's only like He's only like 500 1CCs in now. This is my favorite boss in the history of video games. I've been asked before, what's your favorite boss in video games? Every time I will tell them, it is Sir Richard Rose. Full stop. The stream counts at 438. Do you know how many 1CC's 438 is? It's 438. That's a ludicrous number of 1CC's. I don't remember how frequently the 1CC BBH streams are, but if you do want to see arcade games played really, really well, BBH is your boy. He's been playing, been playing this shit all his life. What? You. You get the hell away from me. What? Are we still on 1cc? Nah, we already used another quarter. We can keep it to 2cc, though. And I'd be happy with that. I say, bit of bad luck. I'm okay with that. I'll take a rusty 2cc.
Wardner is a gentle challenge for a 1cc. I don't think I've streamed Wardner yet. You know what's a surprisingly easy, uh... You know what's a surprisingly easy 1cc as well as Golden Axe 1? Golden Axe 1 is a surprisingly easy one. Also Street Fighter 1, if you just learn how to shore, you can... So there's some other games I want to look at, so we don't really have time for Loop 2. But we do have time to show off the bird, because every time we play this game we have to show off the bird. Most arcade games have a timer. This one, notably, does not. What they have instead is this hurry up arrow that appears when you stand still for too long. Because you can't be hogging the cabinet all day. More people have to put money in, so you can't be hogging that shit, you gotta keep it moving. And they get increasingly insistent that you begin moving. You take too long, eventually they get fed up. <laughs> eventually they get fed up and they send an invincible bird after you. And it will not stop Let's until you're dead. Super Mario Brothers on the NNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNN
70 bits. 70 oh, bits, boy. Bento. Thank you for that 70 bits, oh boy. Let's try that again. Tad Corporation, you've done it again. Two guns! Two guns are better than one! Did we play Wild Gunman? We didn't play Wild Gunman because I don't think MAME supports the arcade version of it. We didn't play Gunsmoke because we have other Capcom plans for Gunsmoke. Express Raider we did play. Yeah, you gotta use your hands, it's like a baby's toy. This game is gonna give me arthritis, I can already tell. <laughs> this is an arthritis game. So we can use our barrel bombs to give us some iframes and kill everything near the explosion, but usually you'll just be abusing it for iframes. No auto-fire? I could turn on auto-fire. Hold on. There we go. Auto-fire engaged. My arms and wrists and elbows are preserved. <laughs> this isn't gonna make us get any less cooked. We're still gonna get cooked, but at least I won't get arthritis. That's good. <laughs> I think you can only hold five barrel bombs at once. So whenever we see another one, we might as well spend it. Oh no! You didn't crash Mame Dino. Mame was just trying to keep you from having a bad time. It saw the game you're trying to play and went our oh, hell no. I can't <laughs> let my dude get his wrist broken like that. I allow this to happen and dude will be asking me in chat, what happened to my hands? I'm trying to- oh, hello! I'll tell you what game we should have used autofire for back when we streamed it was, um... Uh, Boogie Wings? Or whatever the fuck the, the other name was, The Great Ragtime Show? That game demands some absurd mashing of you. I was in so much pain after that stream, my arm was on fire. I still remember that shit. Boogie Wings requires an absurd level of mashing. It'll make you strong, yeah. Oh, I got hit by a stray axe! Yeah, this auto fire is not gonna save us, I don't think. There's still, at some point, there's still gonna be so much on the screen that it becomes difficult to dodge anything. At some point, we're gonna have to start abusing the barrel bombs just to live for a while. Alright. Alright, alright. Just gonna spin in a circle. Just fucking spin in a circle. Hello? Hello, sir? Oh no, there was more fire than I thought there'd be! You got me. You got me fair and square. So you can see that black bit of their life bar? If it gets down to that black bit, it, that part will regenerate, so you have to land several shots in a row to finish them off. I don't remember how many levels this game has. I don't remember it being a huge amount. We gotta stockpile more barrels. 
You can't be running low on barrels in this game. You need them to live. Why are they just all they're, they're all just coming out of the river? Why were you in there? It's fine. Don't think about it. Oh, I need that one up. Thank you. Oh no, I swapped two guns for one gun! That's right, you can downgrade! You have to constantly- oh no, nice trade. That was a game stop trade, that wasn't good. Yeah, one of Tad Corporation's games was Toki. The two games that they made that were probably most popular were Cabal and Toki. I don't think that's unfair to say. Blood Brothers is very much just, uh... Blood Brothers is very much Cabal 2. Toki is kind of its own thing. Sir, you seem very upset. Why do we shoot sometimes when we spin in circles? Why does turning produce bullets sometimes? I'm not pressing the fire button. <laughs> it's just sometimes spinning in circles will produce a bullet. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Yeah, they just fall out of your pockets somehow. That's odd. Oh no, not only did I not grab the other barrel, but I walked into someone else and died. I was like, let me grab that other barrel right quick with these iframes, and then I didn't walk up enough to grab it. Oh, it's gonna get spooky in here, chat room. It's gonna get real spooky in here. Why is my sprite in perma rapid fire? I turned on my auto fire. Because the level of mashing this game asks of you causes me pain. <laughs> That's pretty much my limit when it comes to mashing. If a game is asking so much mashing of me that I'll be in pain afterwards, I would much rather auto-fire it. Most old shmups happen to fall into this category. Yes, we have done a ninja stream. I think we've done a handful of ninja streams, actually. We haven't done one in a while, though. We definitely did Shinobi Day. I remember Shinobi Day. We did Arcade Ninja Game Day, where we played a bunch of ninja games as well. I'm not sure if there were any others. I guess if we finally did get around to Strider Day, that'd be another one. Ray Smash Brawl, thank you for the 33 whole years. Oh, you got me. You got me. He got me after all. <laughs> we got to the point where we could dodge no more. All right, fair enough.
sir. I don't have many places to stand when I'm trying to dodge your shots. Your attacks, sir, they're insane. Well, at least he's dead. Oh, that wasn't the end of the stage! That was a mid-boss? Alright, yeah. I see how this is gonna be. That's okay. That was a mid-boss, was it? What's my favorite eight-way shooter? You mean games like this? Probably... Ooh. I mean, if Sunset Riders counts, Sunset Riders, but if we're talking games that are more like this, then probably Thunder Zone, which is a Data East game sort of like this. Thunder Zone is so damn cool. I'm terrible at it, but I love that game. Shock Troopers? I'm a big fan of Shock Troopers. See, I'm- I'm a weird- I'm weird, though, because I actually really like Shock Troopers, too. And it's... almost universally considered to be not as great as the first one. <laughs> I will- I can concede that Shock Troopers 1 is the better game. But I got no problem with Shock Troopers 2. That's a- that's a big boy! Please, sir. Please, don't bonk me. Please, sir, I beg you. I'm out of barrel bombs, sir. Alright, cool. He's dead. Stage five! This might be the last stage, actually. Oh, hello. Is there anything more fearsome than a big man sprinting at you? No. KOF 98, Daimon running straight at you. There's nothing more dangerous. Never felt more fear. Not too bad. Winnie the Pooh! They want me to play baseball again. I'm gonna get schmixed by Christopher Robin again, am I? Yeah, probably. Christopher Robin? That dude knows how to pitch. That boy, that boy's a menace. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pluto. isn't going terribly. This could be going much worse. I wish I had two guns instead of one. But then again, it seems like you get a better spread with one gun than two. The bullets kind of go all over the place. Aha! Who are you? Oh my god. Holy shit! Why are you burrowing out of the earth? Fuck, that's a big hitbox! My, what large hitboxes you have.
We've got a little bit of a ghost problem in this cemetery. Oh, he's got a melee attack, too. <laughs> oh, I walked into the ghost! Alright, fair enough. Yeah, they get all their health back when you have to continue. That's fair enough, though, because you get all your lives back. Okay, the skulls explode. That's good information. Got him, okay. Oh no, he was dragged to hell! I'm so sorry, we did that! He was still alive when that happened! <laughs> Yeah, he's fucking dead! He went to heck! Oh my gosh! Oh no, he's got some eye frames when he lands on the ground! Ah shit, I couldn't mash out my barrel in time. Alright, fair enough. What does the S do? That increases your walking speed, at least until you die. But you already move at a pretty good clip in this game. It's not incredibly necessary. I think we're at the final boss. The final boss has a segmented life bar. Hands! Oh wait, we're not at the, we're not at the boss yet. We have to fight the hands first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Master Hand and Crazy Hand. They're playing Pog with each other! Ugh. Damn, he's good! I'm getting cooked, y'all. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. We're not allowed to get too close. Yeah, the black part of the life bar, it'll regenerate to that point unless you get past it. Oh no. I can't live for more than two seconds. <laughs> Shit! We almost got him. Alright, alright, alright. That went strangely well that time. After we already dropped like two credits on it. I see what BBH means. This game is pretty ruthless. A 1cc strat. A 1cc of this game would be pretty rough. Von Vante, thank you for the five whole years. Please, no. Please, sir. Please, I beg you. Oh, yeah! I got crushed. We got absolutely bodied. Yeah, it's just a floating head. We got our obligatory floating head boss. We already fought the floating hands. I'm fresh out of barrels, gamers. I'm fresh out. Hey, not too bad. Game cleared. That's just where the, it just, the game just stops right there. <laughs> the game just ends. 
E. <laughs> So we spent, what, about $25 on that game, would you say? It's five stages, but the last one is, like, absurdly difficult. Yeah, after this game, Tad Corporation stopped making video games. Some of their members went to... Some of Tad Corporation's members went to, uh... Mitchell Corporation, who made, like, Buster Brothers, or Pang, whatever you want to call it. Some of them went... Or, uh, Mitchell also made, what? Yeah, Osman, the Karate Tournament, that sort of shit. And Mitchell Corporation is also out of business these days. So who knows where these guys that made this are? Who knows? What's my overall favorite arcade dev? Data East. Full stop. We got to- Holy shit, we didn't get any time to see the scoreboard! We got zero time to look at the scoreboard! Yeah, big Karnov fans in this house. Love Data East. We have to do more Data East streams. We still got time for another game. Let's let's get to a game that um frankly I've been being I've been asked to play this game for years. It's about time we finally get to it. Today seems like the right day. We're gonna play Wild West Alone. Cowboys of Moo Mesa today. Based on the television program of the same name. Somehow we've dodged this game for about three years of streaming, but today's the day. I haven't seen the TV show. I know that it ran for two seasons, though. This is like an actual Saturday morning show. <laughs> it's like a Saturday morning cartoon. I haven't seen it. Oh, big. Let's play the cow game. It's the only real Wild West game. Sunset Riders for Tired People. That's a good way to put it. Is it a Konami joint? It's very much in the same vein of Sunset Riders. It came out a year after, and they were like, Ah, fuck it, we'll make Sunset Riders again, but licensed this time. Yeah, you actually get a life bar in this game, so in that sense, it's much easier. My eyeballs hurt. I didn't realize there was a seizure warning at the start of the game. That'll do. Cow up, yes, Wild West Cow acronym C O W hyphen boys. So yeah, this is very much Sunset Riders, but with actual cows. I have no buttons. I've got no buttons, Captain. Where are my buttons, Captain? I've got... I've got no buttons. What is this double shit? Get that out of here. Hold on. Start select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Cool. Let's rodeo. Let's rodeo. We've got four characters in this game. As far as I'm aware, this guy right here was not a main character in the show. Buffalo Bull, that first guy. I think he's like a side character, like a minor one. They're gonna snatch Lily, oh no! I don't actually know Lily. So yeah, we've got the two planes. We've got the, the two planes we can jump on and off of ledges. Is he not wearing pants? He's a cow, dude. How many cows have you seen that wear pants? Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't have auto fire on for this one. Frankly, we're probably not going to need it. What a punch! This boss can be trivialized by crouching. You can beat pretty much everything he has by pressing down. <laughs> pretty much every move he's got, just crouch. You'll be fine. Yeah, crouching, my only weakness. He does have that low kick. When you see him jump straight up, he'll go for the low kick. That's that's his only low, to my knowledge. Let's rodeo! Good timing. Move cursor to stage you want to play with joystick and press shot button to start! Let's go! Where to? Let's go to the mine. You get to pick which stage to do next, which is cool. Five card stud! This game came out while the show was still airing, I think. This game, or the show, is from like 92, 93. And then I think it stopped production after two seasons. I think it only lasted until 93. So the show was still going. Although it's quite obscure. And I do wonder why or even how Konami <laughs> ended up making a game for it. Yeah, I agree. Interesting decision to make an arcade game for it. Very mysterious IP to get its own video game. But it's not the only one. There's probably stranger IPs that have gotten video games. There is a crazy frog racing game, after all. Yeah, no, the game looks great. The game looks great, it sounds great, it plays great. It's 90s Konami, right? 90s Konami generally could do no wrong. Generally could do no wrong. <laughs> what? I find it funny that this cartoon just said fuck it and used a pun for the title. Even though it's titled Cowboys of Moo Mesa, all the main characters are boys. Yes. Side note, where the hell is my Street Sharks arcade game? Oh, can you, you imagine? A show that was more popular than this got no game whatsoever. Dude. I can't believe this. Dude, if there was a Street Sharks game, dude, that'd be so sick. There was a, yeah, there was a Biker Mice from Mars game for the Super Nintendo, I think? I think it's for the Super Nintendo. Let's go to the Ghost Town. Boot Hill Buzzard. We've been to Boot Hill today. Continuity. You love to see it. Unhand me, cowards. Uh, 
There's a DS Biker Mice from Mars game to tie into the reboot. That I wasn't aware of. Oh, I'm mashing! Ooh. Is he dead yet? No, he's not dead yet. He never played this 99% of your waking life in 92 with Street Fighter 2. Yeah, I mean, that's tr probably true of a lot of people. I can't fault that. This game is pretty cool, though. Hey, a 1-up. That's unusually kind of them. It's unusually kind of an arcade game to just have that right there. It's not hidden or anything. It was just in the open... I think we can skip most of this section. I think we can just gun it. Alright, watch out for the barrels, though. There he is, Boot Hill Buzzard! Yeah, no, as arcade games go, this one's definitely on the easier side. I'm not complaining. After all that cookage and heated barrel I can do with an easy game. <laughs> oh no, he's fading away. Oh, no, he's fine. His spirit decided not to leave. He's got a gun! Of course he does. Everyone was packing in the Wild West. Yeah, baby game for babies. I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh no, he's good! My, what large bullets you have. A Oh, there he goes! <laughs> now he's actually dead. Now he's extra dead. He has... <laughs> he has ascended to the astral plane. Let's go to... She's a beaut. Jackie Wags, thank you for the three whole years. This is a really quiet arcade game. I got Mayhem turned all the way up, and it's pretty quiet. No identification for this boss. Shrouded in mystery. No name is given. Hiding in the grass, are we? Yeah, Cowlerado. We've also got Buffalo Bull. Some other character names that I've already forgotten. Gotta climb up the waterfall, mash buttons to swim. Up the waterfall. This requires quite a lot of... Quite a lot of upper body strength, I imagine. Shit! Just get up there, friend. There you go. You've done it. Whoop! Hey, thank you for the healing item. Unusually nice of you, video game. Oh no. Why did it have to be snakes? Whoa. 
Godzilla noises. Scree onk. Legally distinct, I'm sure. Hey, we picked up an R. We get rapid fire without having to mash it. It's not as fast as, like, Sunset Riders mashing item, though. The Sunset Riders rapid fire is definitely a bit better. Oh yes, another healing item. Remarkable timing. Those aren't real cacti! That was a very large bomb. I'm glad we cleared it. Hello, sir. Boss that has not been identified by the video game. Oh, I'm mashing. I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna melt these bosses as good as I can by mashing really hard. Ah, rude. Yes. You do get the impression that some of these bosses are designed for more than one player. Because it takes quite some time to chip away at their life bar. <laughs> Wagon train! There's a spider in the show named Sid Arachnid, that's not him. Did they invent a new spider instead of using the one that they had? There is something that's going to become really important as we go on later. So there's this run attack, yeah? And then when you hit something, you bounce off of it, and you go into this, like, recovery spin. So the dash attack doesn't matter, right? The recovery spin matters immensely because you're completely invincible while you're spinning. So there's going to be moments later on where our sole purpose of doing that move is just to force the recovery iframes afterwards. Like, we're gonna initiate a dash attack and then immediately cancel it just to get spin iframes. It's gonna happen... It's gonna happen quite a bit later. Yeah, the Metal Slug tank strats just hop in and out of the tank. Yeah, you gotta have tech. You always need tech when you play arcade games. If any games require tech, it's arcade games. We've already seen what happens when we don't have tech. Heated barrel happens. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have tech, you better have money. Rude. Ah, oh, you got me. You got me fair and square. Yeah, we beefed it. That's all right. We only lost the extra life that we gained earlier, so now we're back to the default number of lives. That's a big train. This first bit we can trivialize by just getting behind the target. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
Not the purple Shrek bombs, please. Please, no. Then we gotta attack the top of the train, which starts spinning at you like a goddamn Beyblade. Alright, fair enough. Nice, we did it. Yeah, the top of the drain. Literally the top of it. <laughs> My hand hurts. I should have stuck with auto-fire. <laughs> the Niagara Desert is the only stage left before the final one. Saddle Sore! Yeah, the load-bearing spinning top of the train somehow made the rest of the train explode, despite being completely detached from the train. It's better, it's better if we don't think about it. If we think about it too hard, we're in trouble. There we go, we got our better bullets back, at least. We got our triple bullet. Yeah, this eagle's getting a workout. It's got to carry a fucking bull everywhere. Whatever we're paying this bird, it's not enough. <gasps> it's Lily! We gotta save Lily! Well, there she goes. I guess she's not that important. Bees! Not the bees! There we go. Oh no, there was more bees! Yes! We've solved the bee crisis in this part of town. We simply shot and killed all the bees. Bee crisis has been resolved. Yeah, if a bee can take more than one bullet, the hives take tons of them, take tons of bullets. Oh no, Shrek is back, and he's more Shrek colored than for the first time. Oh, I'll take that. Cover your eyes, chat room. I'm gonna use a smart bomb. <laughs> I told you to cover your eyes. I was about to use. I had to use my smart bomb to get rid of that shit on the screen. Who are you? You got me. I'll take that juke. Goes tall. 
If bees are that durable in this world, imagine what the wasps and hornets can do. Yeah, I know, I'd, I shudder Seriously, to think. don't imagine it. I've seen how big hornets can get. <laughs> Now should be when he starts doing his long-ranged tail attack, or his, uh, claw shot. He has, like, a longer version of that that he can do. Oh, we're going back to the top of the screen. Oh, you got me. I moved a hair too close. That's all right. Feels like a Sunset Riders clone. They're both made by Konami, so that is a fair comparison. This one is definitely easier on account of the life bar. But I don't think it's any worse of a game, really. If you like Sunset Riders, you'll probably like this game. The Masked Bull, the final boss. Fuck, he looks cool, though. Yeah, spiritual successor. I mean, it was made one year later by the same people. Whoop. Cool, cool. What if this is Sunset Riders 2? Sunset Riders 2 is Mystic Warriors, I would say. While it has nothing... It's got nothing alike theming-wise. It's very much the same style of game. Overlord Devon! Thank you. For the 36 whole years. You're a very big boy, sir. You're a very big boy. Thank you. Had to try to bait the chandelier. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm just gonna keep shooting. I'm just gonna keep shooting. I will never stop. Hey, stubbornly going forward and shooting. Where's your warning for the screen clear? I'm sorry. Really bad with that today. I apologize. Oh no. The barrels of doom. Don't let them fall on you. Damn, he's good. How do you bait the burst in this game? There's not really any bursts to bait. It's gonna take a while to get through with a regular strength gun. Yeah, we just have, like, ceiling cacti... We have ceiling cacti that we have to dodge for some reason. It is not adequately explained. Just go with it. Are we good? Cool. You've got Yoga Flame, of course you do. Thankfully, we can crouch under the ranged one.
Shoot the door! Shoot the shit out of this door! But we can't go in the door just yet. We haven't killed enough guys arbitrarily. Business Goose TV! Thank you for the five whole years. Oh, damn, he's good. Oh, those can drop bombs. All right, we're going to need a second credit after all. I didn't realize the door could drop bombs. That's new information. We did it. We saved Lily. I mean, we could have saved her earlier. Skull Mountain. We definitely could have saved her on the train. We had ample time. <laughs> Fuck, he looks so cool, though. Your yeah, that boy stands up. Ow, rude. So this fight, more than any other, we're going to need to abuse the iframes of our dash attack. Not like that, though. Do it better. Yeah, the knife toss is fucked up. Basically, you want to dash attack backwards and then go into the recovery frames of the roll. That's pretty much the strat. Fair enough. The fog is supposed to be transparent and wiggly. It's neither of those things. At least in this version of Mayhem. Then again, I don't have the most updated version. I'm probably like... I'm probably like 10 versions behind. I think Mayhem is up to like 240-something. And I'm on like 235. Oh, you've never found a version that does it correctly? Okay, never mind then. I definitely haven't updated since last year. I'm still on, like, 235. I don't know what it's up to now. I think it's up to 240-something. But yeah, this is a neat game. It's definitely a great deal easier than everything else we've played today. Like, we got a 2cc, which is not incredibly impressive, because this game is pretty pretty easy but it's like if you played this blind you'd probably get something similar it's not too hard of a game it's a lot of fun though the end it's the end at least until wild west cowboys of moo mesa 2 and then the game loops of course does this game have a bird what is this game's hurry up measure let's find out Let's see what happens if we stand still for too long. What do they do? Do they send an unkillable bird after you? Let's find out. Let's stand here until something tragic happens to our hero. I want to see what they do. Our hero looks very pleased with himself. They send a butcher after you! They're getting progressively more insistent. 
Something tragic's gonna happen to John Mumesa. I'm not sure what, I've never seen it in this game. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen that one before. <laughs> I gotta see that again, hold on. Did that say Andrew? Speed that up. One, two, three. Was it Andrew? Is that what it said? I can pause it. The Andrew tornado? What does that say? It does say Andrew. Why is there an Andrew tornado? That's weird. That's bizarre. One, two, three, four. Oh no, you can't- it even eats- it eats your iframes. You can't even iframe that shit. I thought you could just, like, do this over and over to go through it, but no. You're supposed to be invincible while doing this, like, backflip, but... It ignores your iframes, yeah. And it insta-kills. That's pretty good. It might be a show reference. I haven't seen the show, granted. I'm sure there's- hold on. Let me look this up. Cowboys of Moo, Mesa, and Drew. This does not help me. This doesn't help me at all. <laughs> this Google search hasn't helped. Alright, it's fine. I guess it's whatever. Anyway, that's about all the that's about all the Wild West games I had planned today. It's been about five hours. We'll still have to get around to Gunsmoke at some point, but I have that planned for, like, a Capcom kind of an arcade day. We'll get to that one, don't you worry. And, of course, there's all the FMV ones that we haven't done either. All the Thank FMV you. cowboy games. Mad Dog McCree, Thank that you. sort of thing. But we'll get to those. Thank you, everybody, for coming Thank out you. to today's stream. Oh, yeah. See ya. I'd like to thank everyone who hosted thank and you, raided you. and subscribed you, and all that good shit. Thank you. We're going to be back tomorrow thank you. Thank you. doing I have no idea what. I mean I, I mean, I know exactly what, but I don't know specifically what. Tor Tornado Very Andrew. My money. Boy, you thought you thank could you. just iframe me like I was that bird. Thank you you. <laughs> fooled yourself if thank that's you. the case. <laughs> It looks like Gary is playing Earthbound today. I think he Thank just you. started Earthbound. How's it feel to be a TV channel? I don't know. I'm pretty excited about it. Thank you. Pretty excited about it. I can't complain. Z Y Z X underscore throw scoots at him. He loves Earthbound. I want you to destroy his chat room with Dino Scoots. Do you not have Dino Scoot? I want you to destroy his chat room with rack attacks. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Same time as always. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye